microwave it just long enough to where there's bubbles forming, but it's yet to boil. It doesn't even give you an estimate of what? how long to expect this to take, so I guess I'll just do it in 30 second increments. Oh, no one told him how microwave works? That won't work. You can't do it in 30 second increments. You, you start the microwave over, you start the process over. What the? I don't see bubbles. The, the problem with approximate microwave readings is that you can't do a microwave approximately. You need to know exactly how long to cook something. The shut the fuck, shut! Did I say no! I, oh, shit! Pretty old microwave. Right here, add 30 seconds. 30 second increments. 30 second increments. 30 second increments. And I was thinking to myself, do I hate this motherfucker? No, I don't. I don't even really know you that much. I've never had a fucking problem with you. So I figured I would leave by giving you some life advice. See, you're a gamer, all right? I'm also a gamer. And the thing is, is life, everything you fucking do in life is a game. I have beat the game. I beat the game. I used some money glitches, but I beat the game at life. You Phil, you're still on mission one and you can't get anywhere and you're rage quitting and you're starting over and restarting and restarting. I mean, a decade ago, you were on stream begging for $20 and $10 donations so you could pay your rent. It's a decade later, you're begging for $10 and $20 to pay your rent. You're restarting mission one. You're trying to use the same tactic over and over again, and you're dying, and you're having to restart the level. If you want to win at this game of life, you're going to have to fucking do something different. Now, I know it's an ongoing thing with people telling you to go get a real job, but you probably need to get a real fucking job. But there's a deeper reason on, on why you hate me. Me and you have been doing YouTube for about the same amount of time, or gaming, entertainment, whatever you want to say, uh, for the same amount of time, and I'm retiring, all right? I'm retiring with fuck you money. Never have to fucking work again. And you, having the same career, you know, doing the same thing, you know, online entertainment stuff, you're still begging for $10 donations and $20 donations, to pay your electric bill, to pay your fucking rent, all right? I get it. I'd hate me too. I keep pressing the wrong thing. What's blooming? Yeah, what's blooming? Why is the chat disabled? The chat should not be disabled. Give me one minute, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. This is not right. Enter. Hold on a minute. Wait. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Let me get that chat up. Let me see it, baby. Come on. It's there. I put it in. What happened? What's 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 up? What's up? We gotta refresh. What's up? Let's refresh. Hold on. Give me one minute, guys. Something something ain't right with the chat. Okay, that looks that looks good. Man. Okay. My bad, guys. I'm trying to see why the chat isn't showing up. What the hell? Fresh it. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. All right. Uh, fucking weird. Uh, let's try to do this. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see why the chat wasn't showing up.
All right, what's up, everybody? What's blooming? Yes, your boy Shinko Flo, and welcome back to the level one um, level. I keep saying the level one podcast. Welcome back to the Glaze State, where we load up the level one podcast and watch Phil do the same shit over and over again. All right, before we get started, we got to say what's up to everybody because that's just what we do here. What's up? I am on sixty four. Not bad girl J at next. Uh, Trying 007, Zerg Lou, Joel Attract, the Warrior three one three. What's up, Brass Nolan, Ice Yamamoto? What is good, Anqua Vows? What's good, uh, Osfeld, Viking Gaming? Bulan, Kalil Agent 47, what's up, Dooley 710, Rageous Mode, Ames 32, uh, what's up, Shadow Octopus 099, uh, Chud Glue, what's up, Erkoy Pliskin, I see you, baby. I my 64, big ups on that stripe, baby. What 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 color belt you got? What color? I never even I never even put in I never even put in I never even put in enough time to get a white belt. That's that's sad. That's sad. But big ups on that stripe, baby. How we doing? Irie one, what's up? How we doing? How we doing? I hope everyone's doing good in this nice white belt. All right. I, I didn't even get that. I didn't even have enough time to put in to get that. So that's a good keep it up, baby. You feel me? All right. So I hope that everybody's been having a good week. Um you know, Phil's been filling, filling. Alfred Aponte, what's up, baby? How we doing? Phil's been filling like always, so we gotta, you know, laugh at him. So let's just load this up real quick. Let's see. All right, all right. Let's see here. All right. All right, we're going to just go ahead and mute. We're going to go ahead and mute that uh, intro real quick. It's very, it's a mutable intro. It's a mutable intro. It's just, you know what it is? You know what's something? It's just like since he's such a piece of shit, maybe that's why we find this shit so annoying. Because I bet you if we found, like, another content creator to make this exact type of intro, we would find it, like, at most, at worst, corny. But I feel like it's just, Phil just brings that ugh, energy. Like, you just like, yeah, this shit sucks. I mean, granted, like, yeah, he's been doing this for 15 years, but, you know, he's, he's, he's regarded. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta take that into account. Look at that. Ending with the, ending with the salute. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, end with the salute. That's how we. That's how. That's that's how we do it. No, no, Disney. <laughs> I want to do that though. I want to like. This is a, hi. My name is Dark Side Phil, and <laughs> this is the Disney Channel. And just have him just swinging his arms wildly. <laughs> uh, I can't with my mind sometimes. Hey everyone, and welcome. What? It's time for the Level 1 Podcast. It's time for my final... Brass, you can't think like that. Brass says I still can't care to buy Elden Ring because it fell. Any enthusiasm for playing that game is dead. That's why I didn't watch him. To tell you the truth, that's why I have not watched him play it. I have not watched him play it at all. I have. I think I've, I, I covered like one thing or two things or something like that, but nah. That's why I don't, any game that I'm interested in, I don't watch Phil play it. Yeah, no filters, Ergo. I kept trying to um, upload it because the thing is, like, this computer, this is like a loner slash backup computer, and it's, like, it's very bare bones. So I don't have, like, a lot of things on it, and I don't fill it up with a lot of space. So usually when I'm filtering the video, the video usually comes out to about, like, two, three gigs almost, uh, four gigs on some occasions. So sometimes it, like, crashes while I'm trying to, like, you know, download it or, you know, up, you know, trying to download it or pull it or something like that so like when it keeps crashing i just have to like just pull up the raw shit not not the raw shit but like the podcast from his channel because it's like when i pull it when i pull that directly it's about like at most i think that the biggest uh the biggest file i had to pull from his pre-streams was probably like one gig yeah so i gotta i gotta um Oh yeah, yeah, I don't, I haven't, I haven't, I don't know nothing about Boulder's Gate or uh, Tekken. Tekken, I just been doing the the voice filter shit. That's about it. But yeah, so like it's just every time I try to upload the filter stuff, it just keeps crashing for some reason. I don't know why. So I just have to deal with this regular fo- regular podcast because it's like one gig at most. So I'm, I'm gonna see if I could just try to decompress the file or something like that just to get it up because it was working before. I don't know what the hell's happening now. Podcast of the week and my final streaming day of the week as it is Wednesday, and as you know, typically, Wednesday, last day before my day off, which is I don't care. Usually Thursday. This week originally was gonna change because of my anniversary, my wedding anniversary, that is, because it's today. But my wife's work schedule changed and shuffled everything around, and so we decided we're gonna go out tomorrow. 
And so because of that, here I am for my final consecutive streaming day of the week. So, it is time to chill with Phil on the show, and we'll talk a little bit about how everything is going. Uh, nothing too crazy major to discuss today. Uh, in reality, everything's going pretty swimmingly good, although some things are going as I predicted, and we'll talk a little bit about that. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. It just means that a lot of these games that get viral popularity don't get viral popularity when I play them. This happens almost every single... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That just that just sounded so fucking funny to me. Like, yo, so like these games, this is these really popular game that everyone wants to see like everybody's looking up, everyone's searching, everyone's talking about. They, they don't bring me popularity. Like <laughs> because you suck. That's <laughs> Oh wow. All right, that was good. That was good. Time. And I want to <laughs> reiterate that for everyone that you guys seem to think that I am the same as everybody else, and I'm not. You're not. We I'm know that. I'm different from most other content creators. Yes, you suck as a content creator. That's the thing. The thing is, you're different from other content creators because you suck as a content creator because you don't make any content. <laughs> okay. Especially when it comes to covering certain kinds of games. <laughs> yes, you're, you're absolutely right. <laughs> and we'll talk about that in a sec. All right? What's By up, shit king? More to my see you, baby. Knowing that, but... Literally nah, you're bitching. Otherwise, you're bitching for two, three months, and then you're bitching to the point where your fucking greasy ass hair is drying up to a fucking pompadour right now. Like you're you're sick right now. Basically, having it be confirmed, right? So anyway, uh, welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> Today is April tenth, twenty twenty four. I'm sorry, that shit caught me mad off guard. I don't, I don't like. And today. Is an offline gameplay day. Yesterday was an all online gameplay day with Helldivers 2 and Street Fighter 6. Today is offline progress with Elden Ring and uh, more of Alone in the Dark, the second run. Again, it's just like, I know you're trying to do this to make your make your content seem more important than it is, but it doesn't make any sense, okay? Online, all, technically it's all online play because you, you, you're connected to the internet, so it's all online play. But you could just say like, bro, we're just gonna, I'm playing Helldiver multiplayer, and then I'm going to play Elden Ring and Alone in the Dark. You don't have to make it... You don't have to... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't even have the word. You don't have to zhuzh it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're all zhuzh. You know what I'm saying? All sizzle, no substance. Now with Emily, the other character, to get some alternate choices and alternate gameplay stuff going on. Um. So, by the way, I just want to say, if you haven't noticed, I've been trying to adjust the camera differently. So, I adjusted the camera to have more of me on camera, but now as you can- More of me! See, the lighting is really bright down there. So is that bothering- But the light is blue! Anybody? It kinda bothers me. And I'm thinking maybe I should adjust the camera again and have it pan slightly back up, right? Like maybe if I do- That's fine, that's cool. Cool. Like that? That's good, that's good. I mean, it doesn't matter how much of you we see, it's all ugly. Like no matter if we see more of you, less of you, it's all ugly. It's all something to make fun of. Like right now, like I'm just sitting there looking at your fucking greasy ass fucking face. With a nice and flush running through it right now. Because that's legitimately bothering me. Having that burst of light coming out of the LED like that. It's distracting me. I'm looking at my own podcast and getting distracted. Keep the light there. It keeps the corner demons away. Well, we'll see. It's always constant changes and improvement around here. I keep tweaking stuff to try to get it better. Uh, you know, with this new pop guard that's different, it changed the frame, and then I started changing the, the camera around, and now I'm looking, I'm like, why can I, I can see the LED strip down there. It's bright, <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. So, basically, today, What's is up, all Ginger, how you doing, buddy? as we're doing the second run through the game, which is going to be much faster than the first one was. Um, we'll talk about that in a bit when we get to the schedule. What's the talk about? You're just gonna fucking use magic and melt everything. You said that before. Done. Next thing. Um, and then after that's my day off, which I'm gonna have a nice day out with my wife tomorrow. Woo! And when I come back on Friday, it's, it's more of this balance between multiplayer, single player, multiplayer, single player. Although I'm excited. <clears throat> because, uh, number one, my wife and I are gonna watch the Fallout TV show that starts tonight. If you're not aware, Fallout, the TV series, is on Prime Video starting tonight at 6 p.m. And it's all eight episodes. So we're going to watch some of that together tonight. Uh, and then we're going to probably watch the whole series over the course of, you know, the weekend-ish. 
and I'll probably review it for DSP React. So that's something exciting. We love Fallout. Exciting to see it converted into a TV series. Hopefully it's good. In addition to that, on Saturday night, we're going to be doing co-op for the first time in ages now, almost two months, right? We, actually, it is two months now, with the uh, Beyond Two Souls playthrough that's coming up. So there's going to be some good stuff um, coming up that I'm excited for. And I hope that you guys will join me for it uh, over the course of this next week, along with all the other gameplay that's happening. Good balance of stuff, okay? Speaking of Fallout, I guess we should just talk about Fallout in general. Uh, FYI, <laughs> yesterday, my Fallout playthrough uh, from 2008 began its run as an upscaled, remastered playthrough over on DSP Throwback. This is my channel where all my old playthroughs are either being re-uploaded so you can watch them again because they were deleted from the internet at some point, or they're being upgraded and remastered for a modern audience with better visuals, um, more clarity in the audio, upscaling, uh, better frame rate, like all these huge improvements, okay? So FYI, <clears throat> part one of Fallout 3, my 2008 run went live yesterday morning. So far, people love it. Overwhelmingly positive comments on it. People saying, wow, it's so cool to see this back, but now it looks so different because my original run was a 480p digital camera from the early 2000s pointed at a 720p widescreen TV from an angle to try to fit the frame into the camera frame. Um, it was blurry. It sounded and looked absolutely awful, but people loved the commentary and the gameplay, so the playthrough ended up being one of my most legendary ones over the years, and it actually was my first ever RPG playthrough nearly 16 years ago. So, having this now become widescreen, HD, 60 frames, fully restored to, like, an epic, almost direct capture quality is pretty damn cool. Shut the fuck up! You've been stealing content from other content creators and passing it off as your own, you scummy son of a bitch. Oh, we're not letting things go on this uh, stream, Phil. I told you. I told you. We're not. We're not. We're not letting shit go. We're holding on to it. All right, like a pit bull, locked in. All right. Nobody's asking for this shit. All right, you sitting here trying to prove something, and you out here committing infractions against other content creators. Stealing their content and passing it off as your own. Won't even give credit. No, the thing is, PCI Tech, he can't give the credit because the thing is, he's going off and saying, this is my content, my original content that has been upscaled, that has been improved. That's a lie. So right now, you're doing something that you, you're doing the exact same thing that you accuse detractors of doing retro what's up baby again this is this is this would be grounds for him to lose that channel these wouldn't even be false copyright strikes these would be legitimate copyright strikes in this vein This is the thing that, that constitutes a copyright strike. When I used to, back then when we had the false copyright strikes and people we were saying like, oh no, you can't just take, you can't just take, a, a, you can't just take people's videos and upload them. It's like, no, nah, you, you can't just do that. Like you can't just, you can't just do that and say that it's yours, but you can use other people's videos. The thing you can't do is take that video And say, this is mine. I created that. That's the thing you can't do. But you can use somebody else's. Like, with the way that we use Phil's videos. Though even clips. Again, we're not saying this is our clip. We made this clip. This is an original thing that we made up. No, we. this is a clip that we got from DSP Gaming. This, what Phil is doing, is out, this is the outright stealing. And I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, part one, people seem to really like and are looking for more. FYI, there is more coming, okay? There absolutely is more coming. Uh, so he's going to be stealing more content. So that he's just letting you guys know he's stealing more content. So I'll let you know. I'll let you know when it's on, you know, when it's coming. And uh, I think it, the next part may be tomorrow. No guarantees because these Fallout videos until... Basically, here's how it works. 
it, it's got to get into a rhythm, correct? We got to get it down pat so that when these videos all get adjusted, what's up, Crazy Drag Queen Gordon? It's Flowers. the same kind of um template to do it because once the template is centered in and working properly, then you can literally just take every raw video and slap it in, slap it in, slap it in, convert. You're done. But right now, we're got kind of in the early stages of trying to get this perfected. So it's okay. As a person who does like who's like an amateur at doing this type of shit, basically what he's letting you know, what he's telling you. Basically, what he's trying to tell you is that he's trying to look for that those few content creators that have the same content that looks similar to his so he can go ahead and steal it. That's what he's basically saying. That's what he's basically saying. Double A, what's up, baby? So he wants the, the template being the other content creator. So once they find that, uh, once he, him or that fucking flying monkey finds it, then they're going to keep using that content. Tough. It's tough work. Um, yes, it's tough work looking for other people's content to steal. And I'm hoping that it does get smoother over time. You know, this is going to be a 22-hour playthrough similar to the Red Dead Redemption playthrough. Uh, so it's going to take a lot of time, and I don't want this to end up being, you know, a huge project problem because it's so much work. But, man, it's going to look and sound so freaking different. I actually cannot... Yes, it's going to sound so freaking different because it's not going to be your shit. That's why. I cannot wait to re-experience this playthrough with all of you. Um, so it's going to be great. Check it out. Part 1, already live. Uh, and then, you know, more parts coming hopefully later this week. In the meantime, Final Fantasy 13 is continuing over there if you're interested. Um, and that's going to alternate every other day, you know, hopefully with Fallout 3. But again, the Fallout 3 stuff may take a little longer dependent. We'll see what happens. With Depending that. on how much shit he got to steal. So it's kind of like Fallout Mania right now because you got the Fallout TV series that's going to be the talk of the town in the next week. And my Fallout playthrough coming out at the same time. Pretty. Ah, uh, I did not uh, make the connection. That's why. Okay, so... It's like, uh, all right, so because the association thing, why did I keep, why did I forget that? Like, yo, we got the Fallout show. Look, I'm doing, I'm reliving Fallout. Hey, guys, look, there's a new Fallout TV show. I played Fallout at one point 16 years ago, and then I played it again. And it, like, Jesus Christ. Neat. Okay, um, so what I would like to do. Like, I think that's the one of the more pathetic things about Phil is just, like, he is so, he is so creatively bankrupt. He has to basically, he has to rely on a like association. Like that's really weird. Every like you know they're coming out with the new you know they're coming out with uh, they're coming out with some new new wrestling thing or whatever. He'll decide to have a WrestleMania. You know what I'm saying? Like the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl. That's one of the oh my god. It's like look football, sports. Ha! Look, snacks! Game day! Touchdown! Like... <laughs> bro, just give it up. Just play champions. Is recap yesterday because I have a few interesting things to say about yesterday's multiplayer. Some of which is I'm not surprised whatsoever at Helldivers 2 and what's going on with it currently. Um, nor am I surprised with Street Fighter 6, honestly. Uh, but I'm having a good time with each. So here's the deal. Hell, Hell Divers 2 came out in what, February? And when it came out, no one knew what the hell it was. And then all of a sudden, within a week, it was a giant internet meme. Everyone was talking about it. It became the virally popular game. And at that time, people were like, are you going to play it? And I was like, well, no, from my understanding, it's a team-based game where you need to have a team where what's you're up, coordinating and you're talking with your team to really do anything, you know, efficiently. I and up, I don't baby. play team-based games. I've tried them in the past, like Destiny and... Because you don't got no friends and people don't like you. Apex Legends, and they've worked. And I, and I think Apex Legends, you your viewers were doing better than you, I think. I think. I think. Chat, you could correct me on that. As I played them, people told me they didn't like that. The feedback was, when you stream, we like being interactive with you. So when you're streaming any game, we want to be able to talk with you. But we you want don't. shout outs. We want that level of personal interaction. That's the reason we watch you stream, because of the social aspect. Not always necessarily because of the game you're playing. So... If you're teaming up with other people and you're interacting with them and you're talking with them in a party, you're not interacting with us. You're get, you're basically kind of ignoring us, and that's not fun. And that's what happened. Like Apex Legends, the first. Before we go any further, so why the fuck do you continue to play games then? That's the thing. So if you if that's the case, you don't like playing video games. You have to have people handhold you when you play video games. You have to search and look for the the biggest and hypest video game to attract to your audience because it's not that you enjoy video games per se you just have to find the one that will ring these people in and these people are literally telling you hey they like chilling with you okay so why don't you just scrap the games and just talk 
Ah, because you use the game as an excuse not to talk to people. Because you're not a social person. Because you have no friends. Because you're in the house all day. Because your mom coddled the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. A couple streams I did of it, people liked. And then after that, I got better at the game and was winning games with my party. And people were like, this is boring. Stop playing the game. So I did. Okay? Um, so, I really haven't done anything team-based in ages. And that's why I didn't initially play Helldivers 2. Well, the reason why he doesn't play team base shit is because he always gets trolled. And the reason why he always gets trolled, always, because he always has to call himself Dark Side Phil. Can't just call him, just can't, and he doesn't take the time to hide his information, none of that shit. Just keeps calling himself, just calls himself Dark Side Phil, lets, his, lets people see what the fuck he is. So he gets trolled all the time. And the thing is like, yeah, you know, whatever, but dude, you don't, you don't have a good reputation. People are going to fuck with you. So, I mean, either fix your reputation or set it up so that people can't fuck with you. As you know, I got inundated with RPGs for two and a half, three months. That's your fault? Finally, we finished them up and we're looking for variety on the channel and people are like, play Helldivers 2. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to try it. I'm going to see if what you guys are saying is true that I could play it as a drop-in, drop-out game rather than having an established party. For the most part, the answer is yes. <clears throat> Although I could definitely see yeah. that the game would be much better with an established party of people you can trust and you can communicate with. It definitely still works when you drop in, drop out. It's just kind of half, I think it's like half potential. Definitely this is a game that if you have four people you're always playing with, or maybe a group of five or six and you're always rotating around, Stop shaking, then you're going to get better, you're going to have Phil, that camaraderie, you're going to each have a certain role in the team, right? Depending on your loadouts. You're nervous about not having friends. Please stop shaking. Like It's it's bothering me the same way that the light is bothering you. And stuff, and... Like he's just hopping, 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 hopping. I definitely hopping. think that this game works. But again, like does don't it work for don't even like look me? at and the answer is like don't even look at his don't look at his head. Just look directly at his body. Like just look directly at the shirt. He just won't stop shaking. Kind of. All right. I like the game. I've now played it six hours. Like I'm a fidgety I'm type of person, new loadouts, but new guns, new. I'm a fidgety type of person, but it's it like I don't shake like that, bro. Uh, stratagems. You know, learning more about the game. I mean, yesterday, shit, I played a solo match because the, my teammate dropped and no one else was able to be summoned in for some odd reason. I played a solo match for like 25 minutes. I survived an incredibly long time by myself. I jumped off of a tower that I shouldn't have been able to drop up? onto. It was a glitch. And I, I survived the landing and it was hilarious. Like, everyone enjoyed that match, including me. But it's undeniable that this game is meant to be a team-based game and I don't do team gameplay. I don't, okay? Um... So it's funny because the first stream that I played last week as a night stream, impromptu, got insane amount of views, insane amount of support, everyone's freaking out. Okay. I played yep. it for an hour during my birthday stream and did okay. Yesterday, it was like just a normal day stream. Like the hype is already completely gone from this game. It was like the normal amount of attendance, the normal amount of regular support that I would just get for a daytime stream. See him. Okay. And now I'm looking at- I kinda, I kinda wanna bring back, uh, Osfeld talked about something about like, you know, like, like we both agree on something like where we don't watch we don't watch Phil. We don't watch Phil play games that we like because he ruins those games specifically. But for me, it's like a much broader aspect. Like I, sometimes I just get like upset when he talks about gaming overall because he treats it like like it's like a logistical commodity. Like it's just it's like you know it's always about the metrics. It's always about like dude, just play the fucking game. Like you're treating this like it's something to be like it's something to be like sold to it's just like play the fucking game bro like i can't look at games like that like for me game like i like playing a game and it's like that's why i don't play like a lot of these live service games games that have a lot of microtransactions because like i don't i want to just jump in play the game enjoy the game that's it i don't care about if it's gonna bring me views i don't care if it's gonna i just wanna fucking play that's it. Yeah, Shadow, he, he, he won't admit it. That's why, because his, his ego won't let him. So Shadow Octopus 99 says, when will Phil understand that he's the one uh, common denominator? He'll never get that he's boring. Is that sometimes he will understand that he is boring, but his ego won't let him admit it. That's it. And the thing is, it's just like he has this weird thing where it's just like, uh, someone, I remember someone had an actual name for it, where it, the thing where he said that he just, like if you tell him to do something, he won't do it. Like that, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a mental illness for right there. Like, it's like, dude, don't do this. And you're going to go do it. So what if someone told you to not Minecraft yourself? Would you Minecraft yourself? Like, that's weird. The videos and the video views are terrible. 
like no exaggeration, it's been 24 hours, the videos have been live, well close to that, some of them don't even have like like 300 views, you know, it's just it's just as if I was playing an RPG basically, is the point I'm making. Yeah, same here Trevon. This game is meant for people who are virally popular streamers who uh, team up. No, shut, shut up, Phil. So uh, Chud Goo says uh, oppositional defined disorder, ODD, yeah, you know me, uh, includes a frequent and ongoing pattern of anger, irritability, arguing defiance towards parents and other authority figures. Yeah, that shit is weird. Like, it's so fucking weird. Like, I remember somebody tried to, like, somebody tried to, like, accuse me of having that shit, and I'm like, Simply because I told them that they were doing something wrong. It's like, it's a weird thing. Like, that's what, like, people's like, yo, you're combative. You have, like, no, I don't. I, I'm, this, this is the guy. This is the guy. <laughs> With other people on the internet and have an established party and have that communication and people like to see that social interaction of those people. That's what this game is for. That's what it's made for. No, it's see, obvious. the thing is, that's what it's so Dooley, uh, Dooley 710, uh, he says, no way he had good grades, allegedly not him. So, okay, so the thing with the good grades thing, this is the this is this is where people say there's no way that Phil could have had good grades in school. I can believe that he had good grades in school and a combination of factors. Number one, the authority figure. The fact that he had to deal with a teacher, a teacher who wasn't his mother, a person that wasn't like his parent. And remember, this was back in the day, early, early you know, early 90s, late 80s, whatever the fuck. And, you know, back then, those teachers didn't give a fuck. And you have to remember that Phil's a giant pussy. So I'm pretty sure he listened to his teachers and got that shit done, got his work done. Because I wouldn't, I don't think he would want to draw the ire of those teachers. You know what I'm saying? So like here, he has, like he gives up, you know, he gives off the defiance here because he can. There's no backlash. There's no backlash. So if I say do something, nah, I'm not going to do it. There's no punishment. There's no punishment for him not to do it. So he can act that way. But in school, where a situation where I'm going to tell your mom, where I'm going to fail you, or I'm going to fucking hit you with a ruler or whatever the fuck, his pussy ass did what he was supposed to do. But here, when he's like, you know, he's, you know, like, this is what makes him such a fucking coward. So here, when he's like in his echo chamber, yeah, I don't got to do shit. It's like I said, it's weird. It's a mental illness thing. It's fucking designed for. This is what I was getting at two months ago when people sit here and demand it. That I play this game and man I'm really missing out and I'm like I'm telling you I know what the game is the game is great I know that I've seen people play it it looks good it's not for me because this is not the kind of game that fits my content and people still like I said I've dealt with kids like I've dealt with kids like I've dealt with kids like Phil I've dealt with adults like Phil they go ahead and they pass through life because in those in those areas of um like school and stuff like that they probably dealt with a teacher who was a disciplinarian and, you know, these type of people tend to be cowards. So they do what these disciplinarians tell them to do. But when they're away from that, they're away from that possibility of punishment. Oh, yeah, they turn on the bravado like it's nothing. You know, this is this is like it's weird. Like, I don't know, like it's a, like it's a weird power thing. Like, it's a weird thing, man. It's, it's just. It's just weird. He yelled at me. You're playing shitty RPGs instead of Helldivers 2. It's your fault your views are down and this or that. All right? Here's the deal. I know what works and what doesn't on this channel. So then why are you always... I mean, actually, no. You know what? I'm going to let him finish the thought. Let me let him finish I it. knew Baldur's Gate 3 would tank this channel. I'm not stupid. I called it last year. I said a game that's 140 hours long will never work for this channel. So why did you play it? And I was right. Yeah, you were right because you fucking played it. You played it in a way that was boring for everybody. At first, the first one to two weeks, it worked great, and then after that, boo! And that's because you ruined the experience with your shitty ass hand holding gameplay. This channel's views and engagement tanked. Playing Baldur's Gate three for three four months in a row until it was done. <clears throat> All right, same thing with these online multiplayer memer games. These were, uh, you know, Among Us, right? Again, you'd have no so like again, you make these things boring, Phil. That's why. Game again, you're playing with friends, you're playing with a party online, you're interacting, talking, or whatever. It works. It would never work if I played Among Us. It would be the most boring fucking thing. You'd like to see me play it one session, and then that would be it. These games don't work for me because I'm not the same as the big memer streamer fucking people. Yes, and that's why you're sitting there molding, begging people to show up. That's why you're having an investors meeting every single fucking day, twice a fucking day. You're not like these people, and that's why you're not as successful as these people.
That's why you're sitting here trying to beg your audience to give you the things that make money and also to give you the money. That everyone has, thinks is so popular and million view people, you know, I'm just, that's and then the thing is, the thing is, if you think about it, if you think about it, you're just as bad as these people because you're going ahead and playing it, playing Hell Divers 2. Like these people are memer streamers, right? Let's let's play you a game. They're memer streamers. So now that they're memer streamers, right, they can play these games because that's their niche. You're not that guy. You're not that guy. You don't play meme memer streamer games, but your channel is failing. So you have to resort to playing those memer, game, uh, memer games. That makes you worse off than them. Because not only are choosing not to be successful, because you're choosing to stand by your morals or principles, whatever, you're going ahead and showing the entire world that you're willing to throw those principles away for money. Even though you sit there on a soapbox and talk about how you don't do things for money, how you do things for passion. If that was the case, we wouldn't even be talking about hell divers right now. You wouldn't have to have a cope session about hell divers. You wouldn't have to have a fucking uh, uh, I told you so session with hell divers because hell divers would not be on your radar. So instead of you sitting here having a having a pity party because it's not your type of game you should be focusing on playing games that you play it's not me it never has been me i'm a different niche of content creation yes you're a fucking beggar that's your niche you beg your content is a vehicle for your begging that's why gaming doesn't work, because you're not focusing on the gaming. You're focusing on the begging. Okay, so listen, I'm not sad that I bought Helldivers 2 or anything like that. Personally, I'm... Of course, why would you be sad? It's not like you bought it with your own hard-earned money. You bought it with somebody else's hard-earned money. What's up, Yusuke? How we doing, baby? Enjoying the game. But the point I'm making here is, I've played one real major stream of the game, and already the popularity has fallen off. It hasn't even been a fucking week since I bought it. Again, that is a testament to how dog shit boring your content is. And the popularity on this channel has already fallen off for the game. And I'm not surprised because I told you so. But you don't listen. People just... You're not... What are you talking about? You're right in terms of what? Like, Phil, we, like, we get it. Like, it's not your style of game because you're like... We're not arguing with you on that fact. We're laughing at you. We're laughing at you because it's so fucking hilarious how you cannot play a multiplayer game due to your reputation, one, and also due to your ineptitude. Because, again, the main reason you kept getting team killed and trolled or whatever, because you consistently continue to use your identifiable name. want what's popular rather than what works for me and it's starting to piss me off because i know nine times out of ten okay you fucking entire labia fold why the fuck aren't you playing the shit that you're playing that you want to play why are you letting yourself it's, it's pissing you off why don't you go ahead and play the shit that works for your channel oh because you don't know what works for your channel because nothing will work for your channel because your channel is dead And it's pissing you off. So what the fuck are you going to do about it? You can't do shit. There's nothing you can physically do. So what, what, what are you getting mad about? And what's going to work and what's not going to work for this channel? I know my audience. I know how retention works. I okay, so if that's the case, I mean, okay, again, let's highlight the mental illness of this statement right now. So if that's the case, why are you out there begging for suggestions? Why are you out there begging for feedback? Why are you out there having suggestion box segments on your program? So you know what works for your channel, but you consistently, you know what works for your channel, but you consistently reach out to your audience to tell them what will work for them on your channel, because you don't know how to do that. I 
know all of this. Again, if I were a viral streamer doing viral content and people were clipping the funny, like, for example, yesterday, that moment where I landed on the tower by accident and now I'm glitched and I have to get down and I fell off the tower and I bounced off the fat ass of the character and I survived. If I were a viral streamer, that someone would have clipped that and that would have got a million views overnight. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. But the thing is, you don't have that type of reputation. How many moments do we get like that, though? Let's look through the shorts. Let's go through the shorts, Phil. Let's go through your YouTube shorts and let's see the short to uh, stream ratio. If you had that type of reputation, you would have a lot more shorts and clips coming out of your channel. Okay, that's how the game works. If you're already fucking popular and then you- No, it has nothing to do with popular, it's just people just have to like you. You don't have to be a big streamer. I watch Dragon Slayer's uh, shorts. Whenever he plays a game, he has a short up. You know, I see it, I pop. I watch it, it's funny. And he consistently uploads. And consistently plays. So I'm consistently seeing shorts. Whereas you, you don't have that. People have to sit there and sift through your content just to find the negative shit. He could have Trevon, but the thing is, it would have, it would have, so the thing is, the thing is, it was, even if it was to work, it would bite his ass on the long run because remember, you would have all those people on TikTok. So like, again, like if you, just like with us detractors, we would see these clips, right? We would see these clips and go, oh shit, I gotta go check this out. And then they go to his channel and then they see it's dog shit. They see that it's dog shit and then it, it bro, it's gonna get worse. Like TikTok, I don't like TikTok, it's easy to give it's easy to blow up, but it, tick I mean Phil cannot blow up on TikTok. Like Phil, like I think the last time Phil blew up on TikTok, bro, people were making fun of he can't. He can't. He doesn't have the reputation for it. This is what it this is what it is. This is what it is, ladies and gentlemen, to sit there and be in a situation where you have to maintain your brand and you do not maintain your brand. So no matter where you go, DSP, your brand will be known for negativity. Your brand will be known for begging and people aren't going to want to tune into that. That's why we're a select few group. That's why we're like a fringe niche community. Because we can find the entertainment in you being a pathetic piece of shit who's living with the consequences of his own, of his own doing. But yeah, not, not everybody's going to want to fucking want to watch this day in and day out. Like, this isn't fun. Do viral content with it. It doesn't work for a normal guy like me who's just playing it casually in a schedule with other games. It never will get. You're not playing it. You're not playing it casually if it's on a schedule, dumbass. At that level of any. You're playing it as like if it's work. It's not casual because you have. It's on a schedule, so you have to play it within a finite amount of time. That doesn't make it casual, bro. It's structured. It's work. Kind of recognition or popularity. You know, it's casual the way that your wife swallows. That's casual. That's not the game. It is. You understand? But I knew that back in February when it came out. I but your dumbass still fucking played it. Why? Because you don't know how to run a fucking business. Watch the clips. I watched the people playing. I said, okay, I see what it is. No one's going to be enjoying this after a couple sessions. Yes, because you're boring as fuck. For me, anyway. And then what happens? It's exactly the same. Because it was boring as shit. Right? It's exactly the same as I predicted. No, it's not that you do predict. If you could predict anything, you could go ahead and predict the fact that your channel would be a fucking failure. And maybe you would have prepared for that. But you didn't. So what I got to tell you is you got to lay off a bit because I'm, you know, this is now the second time in a row, first with Baldur's Gate 3 and now with this Helldivers 2 where I know what I'm talking about. So then why don't you do, see, like, again, like, again, I know what I'm talking about when I do certain things and I just do it. I don't fight with people. If you're so dead sure about what the things that you're talking about, 
You shouldn't have to argue with anybody. I'm explaining to you why this stuff would not work for my con- To who? There's about fucking 277 people in the chat. Mostly trolls and LARPers who do not chat. Who are you talking to? Again, mental illness. Content. People demand it for months anyway. Okay? And then I play it and, oh look, after two sessions it's already died out, right? Now the thing is, I'm not upset with that. <clears throat> it did okay. It did it as well as a normal stream. So, it's not like, oh my god, this is going to tank the channel or anything around that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, man, it's definitely not how people... Bro, just, did he say it's not going to tank the channel? How many times did he use the term killed the channel over the past week? How many times he talked about games killing his channel over this past fucking week? Come on, man. This is mental illness. Praise the game. This is going to be the game that's going to be amazing. It's going to blow up your channel. That's what I'm saying, Trevon. Viral movement. That's what we've been saying. So Trevon says uh, DSP should stick to should have just stick to Tree Fighter. That's what he's actually known for anyway. And we agree. That's the one. That's his one niche. But the thing is, he fucking he takes it out of the rotation for some reason. Viral movements don't work for me. I played Pal World. The moment it came out, I played Power World. I played it for, you know, a multiple times launch week. I dropped what I was doing and stuck it into the schedule. Did it blow the channel up? No. Why? Because it was forced, you fucking dumbass. You bought it specifically because you thought automatically you were going to get fucking popular off of it. Like, dude, we're no longer living on the home front days where you just go ahead and just upload something and out of nowhere got become virally popular. You're a fucking nobody back then, so people didn't know how much of a piece of shit you were. So that's why you got the blow up that you did. Now people know what a piece of shit you are. People will stay away from you. People don't want to watch your content. So no, you will not blow up. You have to understand that your content content is your content is only viewed by a small and i repeat small audience most of which is people who are just trying to fucking make content out of your dumb ass so why the fuck do you think that you're gonna go ahead and play a game and all of a sudden people are just gonna go dsp's playing power world i gotta go check that shit out when they know all you do is beg when they know all you do is fucking get handheld when they know all you do is try to face tank the game when they know all you do is menu stall when they know all you do is fucking sit there and berate people because they're talking about sports why would people want to fucking show up to that? Oh, because you're playing the virally popular game? Fuck you, buddy. I can go watch the virally popular game of, um, on somebody else's channel who's actually entertaining. No, Phil, I'm going to repeat this term over and over and over again. You just getting the hottest game is not going to make people go, I I Dark Side Feel, Dark Side Feel. No. Because your reputation has already ruined any expectation of people wanting to watch your videos. Nobody cares, you know? <laughs> Nobody cares about you. Oh, OJ Simpson passed. Oh, shit. Um, I mean... Um, I, I gotta say about that. I mean, Phil might say something about a white Bronco or some shit like that, but I, yeah. Mm. What you should do, Phil, is every time that there's one of these new viral games, you should be playing them. They don't work for me. They never fucking will. There will never be a virally popular game that comes out of nowhere that I decide to play and will blow this channel up. It, it will, will never, never happen. happen. There's right. too many factors You're of right. negativity. So, but my thing is, why the fuck do you continue to play these fucking games? You do it all the time. You did it with Fall Guys. You did it with that My YouTuber's Life 2 with PewDiePie. You do it with Call of Duty. And bad uh, understanding against me on the internet. People who won't give me a chance. People who will say, oh... You know, everyone else, it's okay, but when Phil does it, it sucks. Yes, right? yes, it, it, yes, yes, yes. You finally understand it. You finally get it. When everyone else does it, it's fine. When Dark Side Phil does it, it sucks. And it's not even that it's like, it's not even that like, it, it's a, it's a, it's a bias. It legitimately sucks. Where I get a game 
You get a regular streamer. Hey, here's this new game. Man, I can't wait to play this new game. Let's go play the new game. Load up. Okay. Look, things about the game. Cool. Now, let's actually play the game. Ho! Oh, look at that. You see that thing that happened in the game? Ha ha! Wow, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Whereas you, hi, I'm going to play the game. But before I play the game, please understand that I need money. Please give me money. Okay, cool. All right, so now I'm just going to go painstakingly through each and every menu item on this uh, options section. All right? And please give me money. Oh, look, brightness. How bright can I make it? Oh, look at that. It's super bright. I can't see anything. Ha ha. Give me money. Oh, look, we're going to deal with audio. Oh, I have neck phones. I'm going to adjust the audio. Give me money. And so on and so forth. I can't do this forever. So when other people do it, it's great because when they do it, they do it. They play the game. When Dark Side Phil does it, it sucks. Why? Because he doesn't play the game. He sits there and fucking does everything else except actually play the game. Doesn't work. So you gotta trust me over the nonsense of the viral shit on the internet. But my pigger, you are the one who are constantly asking for feedback. If you know what's good for your channel, you know what's good for your audience, then why do you continue asking same the same audience what do they want to play? What do they want to see you play? This is type I gotta I gotta load up that I wish I was able to have fucking sound bites right now. I'm 42 years old. How many other streamers out there are 42 playing Helldivers 2 and going viral? Bro, there's literally a 70-year-old man, a veteran, who plays Battlefield. There are multiple, and I'm talking multiple streamers who are older than you, who are six more successful than you are. Look, there's a guy, there's a guy, yeah, um, I think his name is like Veteran Dad or Gramps Veteran or something like that, and he just does recon. And he, he's, he deals with, he deals with haters just like Phil, and he deals with haters not like Phil. Oh man, your KD sucks. He, he would sit there and say, look, dude, I'm, I'm a sniper, I'm recon. My job is to sit there and spot the guys, let my team know, or take them out myself. And that's what I do. And that's what I did in real life. Easy. Easy. Whereas Phil, look at your KD reader. Oh, fuck you, you fucking dumbass, you fucking moron. Get the fuck out of here, guy. Ugh. Come on. That shit sucks. It's not going to happen. You got to relax. Skyrim I mean, I, I grandma. Feel, I feel like one. people, especially in my audience, get so caught up <clears throat> in all of this nonsense. The hype, the viral popularity of a game that's a flash in the pan success. Helldivers 2, for two months, has been the top of the charts on Steam, correct? That's good. I hope that it has longevity. I seriously like the game. It's certainly not perfect. But again, this is a game for a certain style of gamer, a certain kind of audience, and a certain kind of content creator. That's every single fucking game, though. That's why you're stuck asking your audience what games do they want to see you play. It's not for me. This is just for me. This is just one game to casually hey, play. Dooley, if you see that dude play, if you see that dude play, I'm telling you, he ain't. Yeah, man, that's all he does is recon. Like, he's sitting there, and he's he's timing the fucking bullet drop and all that shit. He's marking them guys down, and then bing, bing, bing. Like, that dude's a menace, bro. Hey, along with all my... I love... Other that's what I'm saying. I could watch an old guy just relive his fucking, you know, nostalgia or PTSD, whichever one you want to call it. And it'll be amazing. And then I got a fucking guy right here who has access to almost every single fucking game who could play whatever the fuck he wants and chooses just to suck. Games. And it'll fit in for a while and then it's going to get dropped likely because it's not going to be that interesting. Right? Okay? I can't wait so, to have this stream because I'm going to work out. You know, it is out. what it is. And you got to like, accept that and understand it. I just think that people have been really, really demanding in the last six to eight months of me saying, oh, I'm doing everything wrong because I'm not jumping on the virally popular game. And then when I play it, it doesn't work. <laughs> so Phil, haven't you heard? Don't go chasing viral views Cause everyone knows your content stinks like doo-doo Come on, sing it with me Don't go chasing viral views Cause everyone knows that your content is straight doo-doo Uh-uh It's like, damned if you do, damned if you don't Right? No matter what Like, well, I don't know what to tell you then, you know? It's just so hilarious that 
people don't listen. You know, it's again, it's because of me. But again, so why don't you just upload the content? Come on, I thought you was the, uh, you know, the you, you, one of the best overall gamers in the country. I thought you were able to pick up any controller and play any game in at a professional level. I don't want to hear that joking shit. You said that shit with your chest. You said that shit with your ample, supple, soft-ass chest. Come on, man. Right? It's because I'm an idiot. And no one believes anything that I say. Yeah, I know so that's Skyrim grab my shot. I'm a moron who doesn't know anything about gaming or my own audience or anything, right? You don't. Like, you literally don't. I'm just an idiot. You are. So anything I say, just completely write it off. I have to. As if, you know, as if it has nothing to do with anything, right? It doesn't. It literally doesn't. I think the thing we're about to, you're about to bring up right now doesn't have anything to do with anything. Right? No. It's, it's just stupidity. Stupidity. Right? It's, just listen to me. I know what's going to happen. If so then do it. Do it. I mean, I'm, I want you. I, that's what I want, Phil. I'm tired of you asking people what the fuck to do. That's why I really don't stream your shit no more. Because it's always, okay, guys, uh, this week we got to find out what do we need. All right, we got to talk about what's going down, what's hot, what's not. You know, you know, what are we doing? Tell me. Come on, suggestion box, feedback, criticism. I need that. Tell me what to do. Handhold, carry me, mama, dada. Come on, bro. What's up, Mr. G? How are you doing, baby? Kind of games. That's why I completely did not play Baldur's Gate 3 in September. Imagine if I played Baldur's Gate 3 in September, and I had this audience yelling and screaming for me to play it constantly, and I played none of the new games of the fall. Can you imagine that? Okay, so then... So what would be the point of playing the game at all? You had games, oh wait, no, no, I forgot. Because there were games that came out that had titties, and you were scared of titties! And that's what would have happened. And then people give me shit, why'd you play it in December? It was too late. And it's like, you're an idiot. No, literally, you're an idiot. If you said that, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Same thing here, people go, like, oh, you played Helldivers 2, too late. You're an idiot. You're a fucking Okay. I see I'm a mother, um, I see I'm a mother, thank you for the one nine super chat, honey. Thinks the game carries him, but he needs to do it. Exactly, honey. He thinks that the game will give him everything that he, he expects everything to just come to him. Just for the fact that he put a modicum. A modicum of effort. Just like when I used to tell him to wash the dishes. I'll take him to friendlies. He goes washes a tea saucer. Not even a plate, honey. A tea saucer. Comes back to me and says, let's go to friendlies. I said, sweetie, you're supposed to wash dishes. He grabs the saucer and like, I wash the dish. That's what, that's what you're expecting out of DSP. DSP goes ahead, loads up the game. The game is loaded. And the money, the success, the views, the viral popularity is supposed to just come naturally. I don't know where he got that from. I sure did not teach him that. But thank you, honey. Thank you. Idiot for saying that. You're just a complete moron making an excuse for the fact that now that I'm playing the game and it hasn't blown up on my channel, oh, well, that's the excuse is because you played it two months too late. No, you're just a fucking moron. <laughs> Ah, caught a tongue cramp. My mans! <laughs> so wait, wait, come on, look, mental illness! Mental illness! So, you play the game, okay? You play games for the right, you play games for the hype. That is your main factor for playing these games. The game comes out! You don't want to play it because it's not a part of your content. It's not part of your variety. It's not part of your style. But for some reason, when the popularity dies down, that's when you decide to play it. Again, highlighting mental illness. This man loves to self-sabotage himself. All right, let me see. If I can do it my uh, my OJ. I gotta do that. I gotta do this in my OJ voice. Hold on. <coughs> 
Uh, Drew Jumpman Gillette, thank you for the five dollar uh, super chat. Ron and Nicole were physically dead, but it's like they almost—it's almost like they killed me. Guy who's now physically dead. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> who makes an excuse for every possible thing that I say to act like you know better? You don't know shit. You're a dunce. I know better than you should. Okay, I knew. I know that if a game is hot and people want me to play it, I fucking play it. I don't play it when people are already upset at me for not playing it and they've already seen somebody else play it. You fucking dumbass moron. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's because I played it too late. Yes, it's because you fucking played it too late. So, because you were expecting, you thinking that people sit there and just watch you all day, every day. You and all these other fucking dumbasses who think that we just sit there and watch you all day, every fucking day. Nah, bro. You want to see the fucking hot viral gameplay? I could go watch that shit from anybody else. Now you want to play that shit two fucking months later. What for? I already had my fill. No pun intended. But no, 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 that's not it. It's not the fact that people have already moved on because they've already seen the content from other content creators. No, 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 it's just that it just doesn't work for your style of content. Of course it doesn't work for your style of content because your style of content is dog shit stupid. It's boring. You want to play a game that people aren't... You, you have a business that relies on hype, but you don't utilize the hype that's at your fucking disposal. I don't get that. it wasn't going to work on this channel i told you that up front yes you told us that up front when we when your audience asked you to play it when it was hot like play it now phil play it play it. no no it doesn't work for my style of channel. you wait for the fucking shit to die off and then play it and be like, look see it doesn't work you moron people have already seen it from other content creators they played it themselves That it's not the kind of content I make, but people don't fucking listen. So then why the fuck do you keep playing it then? You see what I'm saying? Like, like I want people, like, if you're not a D, like, if you're a DSP, like, if you're just a normie, like, you're just watching me, you're just watching me to see what, how crazy the detractors are. This is the shit that we bug out about. The man is sitting here telling you straight to your face. This game came out. People asked me to play it. I outright told him no because it does not work for my channel. Then for some odd reason, decides to play the game when people are no longer asking for it, when there is no more hype for it, it doesn't perform well, and then he's going to go and tell people, hey, you see what happened? Come on, bro. Mr. Gino, thank you for the channel super chat on DSP thinks people hate him for no reason, yet he admits the things he has done, but says it's not a big deal. Jealous of Phil? No, he will be begging from a nursing home soon. DSP, you lose that life. Exactly. We might not even get the nursing home. I don't think there's going to be a nursing home that could take him. He's going to end up, he, well, he's going to end up, he's going to end up in a senior citizen, senior citizen daycare center. Is a word is a specific word for it. I, I used to remember because that's what they used to call the like those type of places that I used to inspect. But that's the only thing I could think I could the closest thing I could think of to associate with it. He's gonna end up in one of these senior daycare centers. And he's gonna have some fucking African nurse smacking the shit out of him because he don't know how to watch his mouth. They just want what's popular. It's it, every time one of these viral things happens, I call it out and I say, I'm telling you. It's just not going to work. Yes, and what he fails to mention is that he plays it almost months after it's no longer it's no longer hot. The biggest one, the one that I thought was absolutely the funniest shit ever. A single player fucking game. Remember Hades? The dude waited an entire fucking year to play Hades. Even the even the detractors restreamers wanted to see him play that shit. Dude, you can it, it's it's something like ah. To quote Ray Finkel's dad in Ace Ventura, the engine's running but no one's behind the wheel, bro. <laughs> and then people don't listen to me. And it's just like <laughs> So anyway, <clears throat> 
I am going to keep playing Helldivers 2. I like the game. I'm getting better at it. I'm unlocking more things in it, and I'm enjoying my experience with it. That's all I that definitely matters. feel like it's going to be a good time. Okay? That's all However, that I don't think it's going to blow up already, like I said. I played it yesterday, and I got videos that have like 200 views. So does anyone really care about this game? No. They care about the viral popularity of it. They don't care about the game itself okay, or playing so it. They care about it being popular. And since... Yes, thank you for the two dollars super chat. I have no idea what he's talking about. Hell Divers Two is doing fine. It's just, it's just, it's the, it's the Kabuki Theater, the Kabuki Theater. That's it. That's it. It's not popular on this channel. They're not gonna watch it. You understand? That's the point I've been making all along. Okay, so then why don't you adhere to that point and not play these games? Period. Because the thing is, the thing is, I, I understand what you're trying to say, but the thing is, you're still going out of your way to play the game. Not only that, you're playing the game at a in a position and a point in time where it was more beneficial to play it in the past. So you're not right about anything because the thing is you're leaving out several factors. Number one, you're leaving, uh, let's repeat, you're leaving out the fact that you were asked to play this game when it first came out, when it was hot, when it was viral. You outright refused to. Because the thing is, you're looking for the... The thing is, when he talks about, oh, it's not performing well, he is still chasing the home front virality, where it's random strangers by the droves come and watch the content. My man, that's never going to happen again. So you need to stop chasing that. So when you stop, when you see, keep saying, oh, this doesn't fit for my style of content, this doesn't do this, this is... You're looking for that home front virality that will never, ever happen again because you ruined your reputation the same thing with every other game that's virally popular it's virally popular because a big creator is using it or playing it and then it blows up on someone's channel it never will happen here i mean why don't you okay so instead of instead of you chasing that virality how about you just pick up a game right that isn't pick up a game that you want to play look for games that fit your style of gameplay and you make it viral because that's the other thing you don't understand, you fucking dumbass. You still have the potential to have that vir virality. That's something I that's something I, I need to correct myself. Because he'll never he'll never have an arc. He'll never because of his own doing. He'll never have that redemption arc because of his own doing. He will find a way to fuck it up. But in terms of his situation, what's up, Barrel? Today just chilling, chilling. Johnny Five, what's up, baby? But in his situation, like if we didn't have to deal with the reputation, let's just say he, the position he's in life, he's in in life, where he's just not as viral. He's just not as popular. He's not getting the views. He can still recoup. If instead of chasing these viral fucking views, playing what he wants to play. I mean, he could, though. He could. But the thing is, with his attitude, with his self-sabotaging self -sabotaging nature, it'll never happen. He will never, get the, he will never get that virality that he's looking for because he doesn't work towards it. When you're sitting there just begging and expecting everything to come to you at once, nothing's going to come, bro. All right. So it's just going to be another game for my rotation. All right. And I'm excited for that. And I want to keep it in there. I think it's a good, refreshing kind of multiplayer. I do. Um, and so, hopefully, you guys will keep joining me for it. Okay? I'm not. I've been watching. By the way, there's a way. ton of trolls in the chat today. Like, a ridiculous amount. Go ahead. I don't know why today, particularly, there's this many. But they even started before the podcast even turned on. So, if you guys see me doing a lot of moderation, that's what it is. Like, there's just a ton of them in there. They're fucking really going at it, too. They're just morons. So. I mean, you're the one that's giving the attention. Uh, you know, if you see me, you know, that's what I'm doing here. It's distracting. <clears throat> Mental illness. So right now, let's say, because we know there's a chat now. We know what the we know what the chat is saying. So imagine it's a new viewer that's just watching Phil for the first time, and they just see him. Oh, he's distracted by pe what people are saying. Like, what are these? What are people saying? Why? Why, why are people saying these things? <sighs> see, I agree. There, Green Mega Man says it's a nice change of pace from the RPGs. I agree. I think this channel needed a change of pace. Too many RPGs were killing it and getting it super boring, right? Why were you playing these RPGs then? If you were aware of that assessment, why were you playing these RPGs? Again, mental illness. So he, what he's complaining about right now is the fact that uh, 
he had a slew of RPGs that were killing his channel. One of those, like again, let's let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. One of those was Boulder Gate Three, right? Wasn't Baldur's Gate Three one of those games in the RPG overload? Am I correct, ladies and gentlemen? I just I just need to know because I don't want to spread misinformation. I want to make sure. All right, Baldur's Gate Three was one of those RPGs. Now the funny thing is, Baldur's Gate was another game that he was asked to play when it was hot, didn't, and decided to play it on his own when there were other RPGs in the mix, scheduled for the mix. So again, you're sitting here bitching off of a problem that you created. Again, I'm not letting I'm not letting these things go, DSP. I want to highlight the mental illness. I want people to see how batshit fucking crazy you are. So let's reiterate. He's talking about RPGs, playing too many RPGs, and it has a detrimental effect on his channel. When one of those RPGs at that time was an RPG that he was asked to play at an earlier date when it was viral, and he chose not to, and decided to cram it in, this rotation that already had RPGs in it. And then he has the nerve to complain. He has the nerve to complain that these RPGs were killing his channel. You're the one that put them there, my guy. Again, mental illness. I, I think watch me play Helldivers is refreshing. It's something different. And in a variety setting, it works. The, here's the other good thing about Helldivers. <clears throat> There's no beginning and end. There's no narrative, correct? There's no 140-hour story that must be told. If I decide to stop playing it tomorrow, it doesn't give everyone blue balls because I didn't get to the end, right? On the flip side of that, I can keep playing it as much as I want. I could put it on hiatus. I can bring it back. It's a multiplayer game. That's the good thing about Helldivers 2. There's no commitment there to get through and rush through and make progress. It's just a fun game to play whenever you feel like, right? Right? Cool. So, yeah, I'm excited uh, for that, continuing on. And I think it will work in a very limited capacity in the way that it works. Not, oh, virally popular blow-up game. Because here we are, less than a week since I bought it. And already, not a big deal. Again, you're expecting to blow up overnight? Right? And <clears throat> Mental illness. Mental illness. He expects these videos. He has an expectation that these videos are supposed to bring him instant, automatic success. What's up, Tracker? Okay. So... There you have it. Yesterday, I played Helldivers 2. It was a fun session with hilarious stuff and didn't get much attention, but I'm still happy that at least it's in the rotation and giving us variety, and it did okay. All right? Last night, Street Fighter 6, very frustrating once again. Why? Because I'm using Dalsim, and Dalsim is likely the hardest character in the game to use execution-wise. If you miss one move, he literally dies. Like, he cannot come back from a deficit against a top-tier character who's rushing him in the face. He can't stop throw mix-ups because he has no reversal. Like, he's one of the weakest characters when it comes to certain things, but if you could get the pattern going to zone, he's super good. So it's kind of like a trade-off. Either you're completely dominating someone, or they're completely dominating you with almost no middle ground, right? But again, the game's shitty online play reared its ugly head. It frustrated the crap out of me because the netcode drops so many inputs, and again, if you get a dropped input with Dalsim, you're pretty dead. Like, I want to jump back, and I want to do air fireball. Oops, it gave me a diving headbutt instead, which allows a Ken player to hit me once and- You want to know why? Because you're doing this. This is why you do like let's say let's say whatever the fuck you're doing. This is what you're doing. This is why you're not putting in combos. You're literally this is all you're doing. That's all you do. So of course you drop inputs because your hooves are fucking mashing the fucking fight stick. It leads to a 50% punish combo. All because it didn't give me a half circle back plus punch. Uh, because your gouty fucking hands didn't input the combo correctly. Movement. What's up, Jason? Maybe about both three. Because the net code sucks and drops your inputs half the time. <laughs> so, it's super frustrating. I mean, it, it's funny too, because as much as I love Dalsim, have you noticed we rarely fight Dalsims ever in this game, right? Yes. Like, I would say Lily and Dalsim are the two characters I almost never see in Street Fighter Six. Almost never. Because they, everyone knows that they're either the harder to play or lower to your characters. 
So no one bothers with them online. Everyone plays the easy mode rushdown shit online. So I had a good time last night. I put about two and a half hours. But number one, trolls keep trying to come into my matches. And then they like change their names around and shit. Uh, to make me think that it's not them again. So I actually started figuring out how to ban them. Which is good. Now, that won't apply to ranked. And it's fine because usually I don't face the trolls in ranked anyway. It's usually only in casual matches. Uh, but now I've kind of learned the way to get rid of them. So that's a good thing, obviously. Um, and then, um, some of these connections are terrible too. Because people can just get away again with online pattern spam. You can't do anything about it in this game because the fucking netcode sucks. So, you know, my usual salt and rage. There was nothing any different last night from back when I was playing Street Fighter 6 before. It was a typical rage session. Uh, but I got a lot of wins, which is great. I had a good time with the game, despite the fact that I get frustrated at how bad it is online. I'm still frustrated with it, but, you know, I think it still works. It's a good variety for the channel. It's different stuff rather than just RPG Mania, which we had for three months. So, it went good. It was a good a good late night stream of Street Fighter 6. And I'm ready now to use Honda. Honda's the final character who I used to play with that I haven't used yet. So probably that's what I'm doing Friday night, okay? So yesterday, it was a full day of multiplayer. All right, variety-wise, it went well on the channel. It's just that ban, 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 ban. Would. I knew it wouldn't. I told you guys it wouldn't. For two months, I told you it wouldn't. No one listens. <laughs> it's just like, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know that my, what my audience is going to watch and what they care about. You don't because you ask every you know, day. No one here is going to go you crazy. You ask over a every day, buddy. Game. You Never. ask It's every never going day. to blow up on DSP Gaming. I'm not going to go virally popular for it. It's ludicrous stuff, okay? So anyway, today, we're now doing single-player stuff. We're getting back to Elden Ring, and now we're getting to the hardest stuff in the game, I would argue. Uh, it's really hard. I'm not really one-shotting enemies anymore. Now the enemies have gotten so tough and tanky that it's tough for me because I'm kind of tanky. spongy. And what I mean by that is I'm soft and, and, uh, and very fragile. Uh, I do a lot of damage, but my character build is not a tough guy. So some of these enemies now are really starting to whoop me. They kill me with, like, two hits, you know? So now I'm starting to try to build up, like, my, my health and everything. So I don't die so fast, but it's, it is frustrating that with this build... Uh, you know, that I can't really uh, do... Be as, I, I actually feel... Here's what I feel. This magic, but was it Glinstone magic? Was very powerful for the first two-thirds of the game. I actually feel now, at the end of the game, it's going to be weak. I feel like now I'm going to have a harder time killing these enemies. Because... Oh, here's where it's good. It's good in the open world. Why? Because in the open world, you can get away from the enemies and get to advantageous positions and kind of snipe. You can't do that in boss fights in enclosed arenas, right? How do I get away from the boss in an enclosed arena to be able to use my magic? I can't. And the boss is going to kill me in two hits. So that's why I feel like I'm at a big disadvantage. Like, I'm about to fight the first form of Moog, right? I can't use the Comet spell. I tried. He just moves right out of the way. He doesn't care. He gets hit by it and just tanks it and walks to the side. So I can't use it, right? So now I got to figure out how am I going to kill Moog when he has ultra-powerful magic and I can't really use my best magic because it's going to leave me wide open. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, right? And I don't know if it's got to be a hybrid uh, attempt or... Maybe, maybe just the rock sling. They just keep tossing the rocks at him and see if it's, you know, it's physical damage. So maybe I can just keep pelting him with that and it'll stun him. We gotta figure it out. So that's the first challenge today. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that's gonna be an easy fight. I think that's gonna be a pretty tough fight for me because of the build. After that, we're gonna head northeast into the frozen wastes of the Elden Ring map. This is the area with tougher enemies, bosses, dungeons, all kinds of stuff. And I got a lot of stuff I have to do there before I can get uh, to the unlocked Halley Tree or get into the end game of the game, which is what... Ferrum Azula, that's the floating area, right? So that's after that, because once you clear all that, you fight the, the giant. I think that's what unlocks Ferrum Azula. So, you know, we're getting there. We're getting through all these areas. Uh, we'll get some progress today. Likely not too much, but we'll see. Take, it really depends on how long it's going to take me to beat first mode, right? So that's the first stream. Later tonight, it's my second run of Alone in the Dark, which is almost like a speed run. I'm using the character Emily for the other side run, and her story is different, but the gameplay is the same, meaning... It's the same exact puzzles and combat and dungeons, but all her cutscenes are different, and her story apparently in the third act of the game, like when you get to the last third of the game, it gets super different from the first character, Carnby's. So, obviously I want to see that, and we're turboing through it, um, and basically what we're trying to do is just grab the items I didn't get in the Carnby run, or find new items. Like, we already found one item that was an Alone in the Dark comic book that was not present in Carnby's run at all, and now that we have it, we completed one of the things that's going to unlock a new cutscene for us and when we get to the attic portion of the game. So I'm curious what that's going to be, obviously. Um, so that should be fun. I hope you'll join me tonight for that, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. It's definitely for a certain audience. Hey, you guys asked me to play Survival Horror at night. Now this will be at night for the next two to three streams till we beat it. So I hope you'll join me for that tonight. Okay? Uh, I'm not here tomorrow. I'm celebrating my anniversary with my wife. Uh, when I come back on Friday, it'll be multiplayer day again. So it's going to be Hell Divers 2 during the day. And Friday Night Fight Street Fighter 6, and I'll be using Honda for that. In fact, I may watch some Honda videos 
to try to see if there's any new tech with Honda since the last time I, I was paying attention, like two, three months ago. Maybe people have figured something out with Honda because honestly, Honda's not that good. He's decent in this game, but he's definitely lower tier. He can't really hang with everybody else. Curious to see how that goes. Uh, Saturday will be more uh, Elden Ring during the day. Saturday night is the premiere of the Beyond Two Souls co-op with my wife, Kat. We're going to be right here together doing co-op in Beyond Two Souls. First narrative-based playthrough we'll ever do together. Excited to be here for that because she's never played the game. It's going to be fun to see her reactions and choices for the first time she plays it. It should be a super good uh, stream on Saturday night. Sunday is React Day, so we got the clip show, DSP versus the Internet on DSP Reacts, followed by the retro React stream over on DSP Throwback of The Walking Dead Telltale Series Season 1, Episode 2. It is such a mouthful to say that game's name. It's ridiculous. Pause! Um, and then for the rest of the week, basically alternating between Helldivers and Elden Ring on the day streams, and alternating between the Alone in the Dark second run and Street Fighter 6 on the night streams. That's the plan for next week. Now, also next week, <clears throat> there's actually a new game releasing called Herald Halibut that seems to be incredibly unique. It looks like stop-motion animation or claymation, and it is a Game Pass game. So I'm willing to give it a shot. And so right here, like, so, okay, so this is what I mean. So right here, this would be... This would be a moment for you. So this is a game, I, I haven't heard of it. You know, it's a game that you seem interested in. It's a game that you seem like you want to play. So my advice to you, Phil, would did you be just, did you just do that? Just play, play that game. And just play it. Don't do the DSP milking shit. Play the game. And maybe you might catch a viral moment. Maybe it might, you know, might bruise your ego a little bit, but it's what you're going to want. It's what you've been looking for. So don't fuck it up. Give it a look and just see what the heck it is, since it seems so unique. I'm not saying it's something that would turn into a full playthrough, because I don't even know how long the game would be or anything like that, but I'm curious to see what it is. Already sabotaging the playthrough. He's already, com like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play because of time constraints when we've obviously seen you play games for months on end. Already, you haven't even got the fucking game yet, and you're already sabotaging the fucking shit. So we might give that a look as well for variety. All right. So we got good stuff coming up in the next week, and I hope you'll join me for it. Okay. All right. Now, before we get to anything else crazy, all right, some ideas for the upcoming marathon that we've been discussing. If you don't know, our next marathon event that we're going to do around here will probably be around late May. I'm thinking like that last week of May. And we've tossed around a few different ideas. The first idea I came up with was the fighting game Fiesta, where basically I would play a variety of fighting games, including Street Fighter VI, but maybe some Tekken 8, uh, and then maybe some classic fighting games by hooking up and setting up <clears throat> Fightcade on my mini PC so we can play games like Street Fighter III. If, he, if that does happen, if that does happen, I get, I, I, if that somehow happens, I guarantee you, I not no, fuck that shit, I swear to you, I will have it filtered. If he ever gets... Yo, if he manages to play fight or, uh, Fightcade. If he manages to play Fightcade. I swear to God. I, I swear I will have that shit filtered for you guys. Do it, Phil. Do it. Please do it. Third Striker, the old Versus series. Matter of fact, no, 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 no. Wait, don't do it. Don't do it, Phil. Don't do it. Don't do it. I forgot because that's how you work. Don't play Fightcade. Bad, Phil. No Fightcade. You're not supposed to play Fight Kid. Games and stuff like that. In addition, perhaps my wife could make some food recipes out of the Street Fighter cookbook. You did that, that already. Have. And uh, maybe I could do a little bit of reacting to old school fighting game footage of me on the internet from Evo. And also, perhaps... <clears throat> you did that already. I could do a little bit of kind of back in the day reminiscing. You did that already. Street Fighter tournaments and talking about that time of my life and what it was like. It was you did that already. Uh, Mental illness. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done this already for at least I can remember three years straight. I've been following from him for about three, four, five years, I guess. I, I don't know. But he's been doing that for the entire time that I've been following him. Um, And we could, I could field questions of people about those days. Right? Did that already. So that could be a fun event. That's one idea. Another idea we had was an indies marathon where people can nominate and vote on indie style games to be played and tried out in like our segments over the course of a day. He did that already. I think that could work well as well. We haven't done an indie style event in years. No bullshit. So, like, the fun part about indie marathons is there's no commitment to having to play any of those games further. So if a game doesn't work, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Most of these indie games are cheap, so it's not like it's an expensive thing to do. But in addition, sometimes some of the games do work, and I end up playing them in the rotation moving forward, and then they end up being really fun. Um, 
So he's, I guess we'll see. He's done this before. Forward, uh, you know, if that's something you're interested in. Now, yesterday, while I'm raging at Street Fighter Six, someone tips me and says, how about a rage -thon? And I was like, you know, we used to do rage -thons. I think we've done two. So what is a rage -thon? A rage -thon is people actually seek out frustrating games for me to play during a marathon, and I play them back to back. Previous installations of the rage -thon have been games such as Super Meat Boy, okay? A game where you know you're going to die 5,000 times and through trial and error, you're trying to overcome or persevere. I remember Super Meat Boy got me pretty heated when I was playing it during that marathon, okay? Now, the problem with the, the rage <clears throat> is that people actually have to find games that'll work like that. And the second rage didn't work because people were nominating stupid games. Like, at that time, if you remember, I hated Street Fighter V. I didn't want to play it. Well, people said, just play Street Fighter V. I'm like, I'm telling you, this isn't going to work. All right, I'll play it. I played it. Zero rage. I just, I actually won more than I lost, even though I didn't play the game. I didn't even really understand how to play it. I was still winning and beating everyone online. And people are like, I don't understand. I thought he was supposed to play and rage and lose. It's like, no, I'm good at Street Fighter. I, I still win anyway. <laughs> I hate the game. I don't even understand its mechanics. And I'm fucking kicking ass for most of that segment of the stream anyway. And people were like, uh? You know, because people are dumb. And they dominate dumb shit. Because they're stupid. And they think they're going to get me pissed off when they don't. Mind you, people are stupid because they give me stuff to... to they. People are stupid because they give me the ideas to run my business. That I can't come up with myself. Let's reiterate that. People are stupid because they give me ideas on how to run my business when I cannot come up with any myself. So. We would really have to figure out what would work for a rage thought. Okay. Why should we, again, mental, mental illness. Why do we have to do that? Motherfucker, we were about 35 minutes in. Didn't a couple, a couple minutes ago, you just said, you know what works for your audience? Didn't you just have a whole diatribe about how you know what works for your channel and what doesn't? So why the fuck are we conferring with people if you already fucking know the answer? Again, mental illness. So we just wasted 35 minutes of him talking about how shit wasn't working for him. How people are stupid, that he knows what works for his channel. Now we're cutting into a segment where we have to sit there and accept input from the same people who don't know... Who don't know how to run his channel. Again, like I said, mental illness. Yeah, I'm not sure what would at this point. You know, this is many years later. I'm not sure what kind of rage inducing games would come out or whatever. Why? Why wouldn't you know what works for your business? You know, I'm going to change the stream. I got to change the stream title for this shit. Hold on. If I change the stream title, would it make it like a separate stream? Because I don't want to do that. I just want to change the stream title. See, I'm a, I'm I'm a YouTube boomer. I don't know how to use this shit. I just want to change this. The, the I'm, I just want to change the name of the stream. That's it. I don't want to split into parts and none of that shit. Um, I guess we'll see. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think for this next event. Yes, let the man know. Let the man know what he can do to run his business. When you don't know how to run his business, and he does. Again, ladies and gentlemen, mental illness. Wheelchairs in the chat. I think that's the only emoji I can think up right now that, 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 that is relevant into this, for this situation. Okay? I need, I need wheelchairs in the chat. Sp spam, those, spam those wheelchairs in the chat. I'm sorry, Barrel Roll. He's killing me right now. Killing me. Oh, matter of fact, let me tag this motherfucker because he's stupid. There we go. DSP Gaming tells his... I'm doing a DSP right now. Tells his audience that he knows how to run his business. Proceeds to ask people to run his business. That's all right. So is it 131? Okay, so you know what? No, we're going to shorten this. We're going to shorten this. All right, we're doing, we're doing the DSP live. We're doing Tedium live. Tedium live. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is it. All right. That's good. There we go. There we go. What? Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. 
DSP Gaming knows how to run his business, proceeds to ask fans to run his business. There we go. All right. There we go. That's that's it. There we go. Save that up. There we go. Perfect. 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 Because this is this is this is fucking crazy. Right. I'm very curious. What should be the next event? Uh, Why? Why are you curious? You know what your audience wants, my man. I think all three of the ideas work. The question is, which would work better? And then we need to start planning towards it, right? So let's start discussing these. And, Why? Uh, Why are you discussing with people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about? Remember, Phil, these people are dumb. These are your words. Why are we conferring with these people? Remember, you can't use the excuse that in the event that, you know, this is what you wanted. Nah, pigger. You know what's best for your business. So why are we asking? Uh, and maybe eventually I'll, I'll be, you know, doing polls or whatever, and we'll try to figure it out. So wait, so, so now, again, we'll... we're going to waste people's time by having a conference of what needs to be done, then making a poll on what needs to be done, then disregarding the poll because trolls skewed it or whatever. Come on, bro. Come on, me and Waldo, what's up, baby? We'll go from there. We've got about a month to plan, and then we've got a couple weeks to hype, basically. Hype it up to get people excited for it, right? So, okay. But no, no, uh, no. Silent weapons, we can't. No, no. He can't, you, he can't do that now. He can't do that. Because we just spent like a couple minutes of him literally berating his audience. Because he was right about something that he knew that he was supposed to do or not do or whatever. Because he knows what's best for his business. But people, quote unquote, want to be dunces. So again, I, you can't blame people if you know what's best for your your audience. This was the best thing for your audience. You decided that, so you can't point the finger at nobody. This is why I say mental illness, because he wants to go ahead and blame the fans, but yet he's the one that was asking for asking for the feedback right after he just said he doesn't need the feedback from people because he knows what's best. That's nuts. Really, there's only one news story that I wanted to cover today. Let me see if I can find it. He can't. He oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he could have... Trevon, he didn't even have to do that. Like, to tell you the truth, with when it turns to... So, uh, Trevon Womack says, if DSP monetizes the detractors, he would never beg again, but he can't even do that. A laugh of my asshole. I'll do you one better. If the motherfucker just didn't do the scummy shit that he did, that he does, not did, does, because he still does it, he would be okay. Even with all this racist shit, I think the thing that really tanked his shit was the fact that he was going out and trying to silence people who are talking about him. Because I've said this before, Earl, very, very early when I started streaming, that a lot of these locales don't understand that social media isn't like it is back in the, like it was back in the day, where you could just upload whatever the fuck you want, and you know it's all hunky dory, it's funny, it's whatever. It's all about your brand. So if DSP, all he needed to do was get eyes on the brand. He was doing that. But the thing is, he couldn't handle the criticism. So he went out of his way to attack people. He went out of his way to silence those people. And that put a damper on his brand. He would have been not like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, aside from the panda thing, aside from the Derek thing, aside from the, uh, you know, uh, like not even that, aside from the, um, you know, I push it to children. If he would have just allowed these people, if he would have just ignored it, if he would have just ignored and allowed it to build up, he would have been fine. And he understands this concept because he did it with Craig and Keem and he did it with the fact that he beat his meat. But for some reason, he has like this weird ego trip where he has to talk to people. He has to have the word in. People have to hear his side of the story. People have to believe him. So again, he opens his mouth. He silences people. He fucking, he attacks people. So that fucks his shit up.
NASA Star Ultra Oof says it's so funny. I'm taking a long ass break from watching DSP, and it seems like he's in the exact same spot as last time. You are not wrong, my friend. This, I mean, not necessarily that this is news, okay? I'll, I'll say it's news just for the sake of saying it's a news segment, but really it's not. So if y'all remember, y'all, in early 2023, there was a little bit of a remake game, and there was a lot of controversy around it. It was called the Dead Space Remake. <laughs> now, the reason this game had controversy around it is because the original makers of Dead Space, Visceral Games, had actually been laid off and fired by EA. So they went off and decided they were going to make their own studio and they were going to make their own survival horror game that was kind of like an homage or a spiritual to successor homage. to Dead Space because there were no other Dead Space games. Dead Space had been defunct for like a decade and no one was making new ones. So they go off to do that. <clears throat> and as they're developing this game, which went, got uh, ended up being called Callisto Protocol, okay? At the same time, EA decides, oh, we're going to remake Dead Space. And it's like, what? Like, why are you doing that? The only reason you're doing that is to compete with the former studio that you fired because you feel stupid. You own the IP, right? But now they want to do their own thing because you fired them, and now you want to bring ba back the games that they were making after you've already fired the dev team? Isn't that kind of messed up? And the answer is, yeah, it is. <clears throat> it's incredibly dumb um, that that happened, and it's kind of messed up and disrespectful to the game devs, in my opinion, okay? So what ended up happening was... Callisto Protocol came out, I believe it was December 2022. And I'll be honest with everyone, it's not a perfect game, but it's a good game. The plot is interesting and scary and fun. The characters are well-developed. The gameplay elements are very different from Dead Space, and that's what made people upset. Because when Callisto Protocol came out, people went into it with the expectation that they wanted Dead Space 4. But Callisto Protocol is not Dead Space 4. It's a game where guns aren't very effective, and you need to learn this new melee mechanic system to survive. It's very, very set apart from in Dead Space, where it's all about guns. Melee is shit, right? It's kind of the opposite. Um, I remember in Dead Space, I had to keep hitting motherfuckers and stomping the shit out of them. Like, before I bitched out of that first level. I remember I had to hit people and stomp them. There was melee. And by the way, it's tough. It's a tough game. You need to master this system, and if you don't, you get your ass handed to you over and over. <clears throat> now, admittedly, the game has flaws. There's some graphical problems. It's a shorter game. There's one or two things that are more frustrating, okay? So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, the game's perfect. But overall, it's a fine survival horror game, okay? But the critics panned the shit out of the game saying it was an awful game. Why? Because they're fucking terrible at the game. They didn't want to learn a new survival horror element or, or engine. They just wanted it to be Dead Space or Resident Evil or whatever. And since it didn't play like that, they all sat there and bitched him up. There were content creators who booted the game up and quit within two hours saying they couldn't figure it out or it was too hard. On stream, they quit the game. It's like, what are you, a pussy? It's a fucking game. You're supposed to learn how to play it. Isn't this... Motherfucker, you rage quit Mario Golf and Kirby. Let me reiterate. DSP, this man who is calling people pussies for rage quitting a game, literally rage quit a Mario golfing game because other people had clubs that he didn't. And also rage quit a Kirby game because one of the final levels was a little bit too hard for him. He legit called it the Dark Souls of Kirby games. So, if these content creators are pussies for quitting that type of game, what does that make you for quitting, rage quitting Nintendo games? It's what you're supposed to do when you're a gamer. I mean, really, it makes me scratch my head like, what, were, what happened that all this negativity got thrown against the game? And me, I played it. Yeah, did I have frustrating parts? Yeah, I did. For sure I did. There was one or two parts. Stationary ah. I raged much later in the game. Stationary ah. But I didn't give up and I persevered and overall I had a great time with the game. I don't get it. I don't get that the bad reception that the game got. It doesn't make sense. It's not equivalent with the experience that I had. Okay, that's fine. But the thing is, remember, you said you're different than other people, right? So why the fuck are we at? Why, why do you even feel the need to make that statement? Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> the reason I bring this up is because the Dead Space remake came out a month later in January, okay? 
And all the critics praised the shit out of it. They said, oh my god, it's such a great game. It brings back the Dead Space franchise. This is it. Dead Space is back, right? So I played it, okay? Now, to be fair, the Dead Space remake is fun. It's a very fun game. It's got good graphics. It's got sound gameplay elements. It's got a lot of good stuff. Problem is, most of the good stuff was already done. It's from Visceral Games. It's the stuff from the original game that makes this game feel so good. It does have improvements. For example, I got hair in my mouth. Ew. Ugh, got it. Um, for example, now the Ishimura ship is all connected. You can actually go throughout. I understand how this dude has hair in his mouth, and I have more facial hair than him, and I've never really had, like, hair in my mouth. The ship and find hidden doors and areas that weren't present in the original game to get upgrades and some additional lore and stuff in the game. That's cool. There's areas that now implement mechanics from Dead Space 2. Like, there's a few anti-grav rooms where you can kind of jetpack around and do stuff. You couldn't do that Nasty. in the original game. They've changed that and added that into this game. So did they try to innovate? A little bit. Just not a lot. Most of the game is identical to the original Dead Space game with a facelift. There's a few elements that make it new, but for the most part, it's the same exact game. Okay? So the critics praise it. Oh my god, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, best survival horror game ever. It's like, wait, what? It's fucking Dead Space 1. Did you not play Dead Space 1? And maybe that's what it is. Maybe the reviewers around today are fucking 20, 30-year-olds and never played the original Dead Space, perhaps. Because you would know it's the same game if you played the original. You would fucking know it's just they copied 99% of the stuff. So they praise the shit out of the game, all right? Guess what? If we're to believe this industry insider guy, Jeff Grubb, because he seems to always have inside info on the industry on his podcast, this morning on his podcast, he says, there will, no, there will be no further Dead Space remakes whatsoever. Zero. The, the franchise is re-dead. So it was dead after Dead Space 3 for a decade to compete and try to over or outshine Callisto Protocol. They remade Dead Space 1, and now it's dead again. They just, it's completely dead funk. They have no plans to do anything with it. You might say, wait a minute. <clears throat> Why? Why on earth would it be would it be canceled? Like when we were playing the Dead Space remake and I finished it, everyone was like, "Would you play a Dead Space two remake?" And I said, "Yeah, I would." This remake was fine. It's certainly not as good as the critics say, but it was a fine game. I had fun with it. I would play a Dead Space two remake or even a Dead Space three remake. I would re I would play those. Okay. Well, they're not making them at all. Zero. And you might say, "Why? Why are they not doing it?" Because the Dead Space one remake only sold about one million copies, despite all the PR nonsense from every fucking game journal. Do you guys hear that? Like, it was like an audio pop, like something just, like he sounded like very much more clear or something, or like there was an echo. I think I just heard that on my end. Maybe it was just me, sorry. Well, shilling the fuck out of this game, saying it was the best game ever, and for some reason, them all yelling and screaming that Kalisto Protocol yeah, sucks, so exactly, why Dead Space remake instead? You're right, Tractor Goose. It, I may be wrong, but I remember Dead Space initially being a niche hit and it becoming a cult classic. Surprise is still niche later, exactly. The game only sold about 1 million copies, which wasn't enough to make a significant profit for EA. So they deemed that the remake projects were not worthy and they scrapped them all and they're done with Dead Space, likely forever. Like at this point, I think they're never going to make another Dead Space. I think that- It's funny how like, it's just like, this how, this how it shows that Phil is so uneducated on like how businesses work because he thinks that these businesses- like, they're just cut and dry like that. Like, they are able to make these motions just that quickly. No, that takes time, bro. They discuss these things. They iron these things out, and then they come to a decision. That's It's it. It's done. Which is sad, because the franchise is great, and Visceral Games did an outstanding job with that franchise when it was in their hands. And now EA, it's their fault. They so I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm not believing what he's saying. So that's why I'm not really, like going hard right now because i don't believe what he what's coming out of his mouth he fucked it. but i'm just i'm just responding to what he's saying but i don't i don't believe any of the shit that's coming out of his mouth and nor do i care to look it up or not because this doesn't affect me so i don't care it up. they're the ones who decided not to make any more they're the ones who fired visceral games they're the ones who then kind of made Callisto protocol tank by making a remake to directly compete with that and now they've they shut down dead space again so they shut down one million copies so we say one million copies right so let's say Dead Space. Let's see Dead Space remake sales. Okay. So right here.
Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, give me something. I'm just reading something up real quick. Okay. It's in the wrong reviews. Fidelity Graph. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. It's like, wow, EA hey, is fucking atrociously Let's bad, the aren't sales. they? Yes, they are bad. I'll agree with you on that one. It really sucks because a publisher like EA used to be good for this kind of stuff. Like, they did variety shit. But I think, sadly, what it is, is these game companies now have more become about this yes. than anything else. So what's making EA its most money? Yes, DSP. The reason why video games were so popular and so great back in the day because they were the it was the one medium that wasn't touched by the mainstream. It had to make his way into the mainstream. So it wasn't perceived as cool as consumers like you. Like, for example, like, I think, like, the only reason a person like you got into video games because your mom just thought that was, like, what weird kids wanted and that's what you got. All right? As it got, as, you know, gaming progressed and people saw it as profitable and, you know, people saw it as profitable and people saw that it's something that you can make money off of, they started incorporating it into the mainstream, sanitizing it for people like you, fucking dumbass consumers. That's why. So the whole, yeah, it, it's all about this. It's because they're trying to meet the demands of your dumbass like you that's looking for the modern controls, the new game, you know, the new graphics and all that shit. So that's why, DSP, the gaming industry is dead because of people like fucking you. Sports games and live service games with constant microtransactions. Ultimate team and dumb shit like that. Yes, 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 yes. People like, because DSPs like you, that's that's what you go for. And in the same breath, let's take let's take the multiplayer games, live service games out of it. Let's play the fucking remakes that people keep rehashing over and over and over again because you didn't like the game that it came out, uh, the way that the game came out back then. So you want to see it with new controls, new graphics, smooth 60 frames per second and all that shit. You're in the opposite side of the spectrum, you fucking dumbass. And it's people like you is like ruining the gaming industry. That's why I can't enjoy games anymore because these games are made out to impress people like you. And that's why we have all these fucking looter shooters with fucking microtransactions and all these fucking movie games where you gotta just press one fucking button just to progress the fucking plot. That's what prints money for them. So now they just get, don't give a crap about this stuff anymore. I mean, what, what's the other example of a game last year that EA completely botched? Immortals of Avium, right? That that was a game where the game had all the signs of being a good game, but it was completely mishandled, mismanaged, mismarketed. No one knew the game was coming That's out. That's what I'm saying. I have the same fucking time I don't, I don't fucking be, I, I've never, and acted like it was going to. I have not played a single remake. I haven't played a single remake, like at all, like at all, at all. There's no point to. There's no point to. If I want to play a game, I want to play a game as is. And if I like the game, I like the game as is. I don't need to see it with refreshing new graphics, new gameplay mechanics, because it's not the same fucking game. You do well. Like, again, whose fault is this? It's EA's fault. It's the management at EA. Exactly. They don't know what the hell they're doing. So they, put, they spend all this time and money on this new original IP. They completely botch its launch. And then they say, oh, you see, no. Yes, thank you for the $2 super chat, hun. DSP literally ruined the God of War franchise. This is not hyperbole, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, uh, Santa Monica Studios, I think Santa Monica Studios, some, someone in that room had a press conference where they were showing how they're basically making these games like stupid easy for people. And they use, they literally highlighted DSP playing God of War. No one wants single player games. Keep pumping out live service ultimate team transaction games. No, EA, your managers are terrible and need to be fired. Just like the people in charge of Ubisoft are terrible and they need to be fired. And the people in charge of Activision Blizzard are terrible and they need to be fired. And Phil Spencer is a horrible leader for Xbox and he needs to be fired. All the people in charge right now of gaming are terrible. They're all Oh, no, they blurred, they blurred his face. No, 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 no. They blurred his face out after we made the point because I got the video. I got the fucking video. <laughs> they used his face. And once people started pointing out that it was DSP, then they blurred that shit out. Santa, the games development conference wasn't slick with that one because I, I got that shit saved, bro. All <laughs> making completely the wrong decisions. All of them. Yes, yes. Entertaining people like you is a very wrong decision.
And then, and then, oh, well, the industry... I gotta look for the I gotta look for the original video, but hold on. Let me see if I can find, like, the original raw video that I had to pull. I have to look for that up. But let me see if I got the video on it where I talked about it. I'm gonna look for it right now. The downturn. You're the reason. You're mm -hmm. the ones in charge of the industry. You're right. It's not us that determine the industry. It's you. You make the games. Mm -hmm. So if you're not making the good games that people will go out and spend money on, whose mm -hmm. fault is that exactly? The consumers or yours? You're in charge. You're dropping the ball. And you're blaming the consumers for it, right? Mm. <laughs> like, it's our fault the Dead Space remake only sold a million copies. What? It, how is it our fault? It's our fault Immortals of Avian Flop. You didn't even market the game. No one even knew it existed, and you released it at Baldur's Gate 3's release week. Oh, I'm sorry, you consuming cocksucker. Oh, what? You didn't know about the game because the, pe the people didn't come up and spend millions of dollars and say, Hey, buy this game! Hey, you want to play this game? This game is coming out! I know you don't like to go outside and read the newspaper or read magazines or, you know, actually talk to people. So here, we're showing you. We're paying all this money so we can have these people promote this game to your fucking face because you're a goddamn consumer that needs to be be told what to do like some kind of fucking child are you stupid yes you are you're the reason that gaming is so bad now i agree with him we don't want gamers don't want gaming to just be endless microtransactions you're not a gamer if you were a fucking gamer you wouldn't be indulging in every single fucking game that came out if you were a fucking gamer, you would sit there and play the fucking game without actually having people hold your fucking hand. If you were an actual fucking gamer, we wouldn't be spending our fucking time talking about bullshit. We would be playing games. You're not a fucking gamer. You're just a spoiled white boy from Connecticut that just got access to games early because his mom kept fucking coddling him. We don't. But I don't know why the fuck that irritated the shit out of me for no fucking reason. That's super weird. But we're being shilled on now. We're supposed to be being pushed down our throat because this is all that will make them money because they don't make good games anymore, right? It's just, it's sad. Somehow it's our fault. Yes, because, yes. I don't know, because well, we're demanding better games? No, it's because you're the fucking market that continues to fucking buy this shit and make a cope every time that something comes up that, you don't, you know, that's not conducive to gaming. Sorry. That's what it is. Again, I don't play remakes. I don't fucking play, uh, you know, I don't play remakes. I don't play these live action service games. I don't. I don't give these people my money. If it's not a game that I want to play, I don't play, I don't play it. Period. I've always been like that. I've never played games just because of the hype, just because it's the newest game. I play it because that shit speaks to me. Hey, that's a game you want to play. If everyone else had that fucking, had that fucking expect, you know, if all these consumers who are like you had that same expectation, had that same, you know, standard for gaming, maybe the gaming industry would be a little, bit, a little better off. We're not just happy with the crap you're pumping out. <laughs> it's like, I just don't understand it, you know? And the other thing that's funny, again, with this industry, people tend to fail up. And what I mean that is, oh... Your company made absolutely awful decisions. Stay in charge anyway, right? Or leave that company and go to another company. The, the Don Matrick story, right? Don Matrick was in charge of the Xbox One launch. The Xbox One was infamously one of the worst console launches. Okay, okay. Again, how many times are you going to talk about Don Matrick? You talked about Don Matrick the last time you tried to spit on, um, you tried to shit on Phil Spencer. We get it, DSP. These people, you know, fucked up. We get it. We get it. History. He, his cocky attitude, his his demeanor, the way he said things disrespectfully to the to the consumer turned people off. So people, isn't it ironic? Did not buy the Xbox One at launch. He left Microsoft to become in charge of a mobile games company called Zynga. He failed up, and guess what happened at Zynga? They tanked under his leadership, and he had to leave there too. But he got a big payout. This is what I mean. Like, these people in charge of these companies, there's, like, no repercussions for anything they do. They, they make mistake after mistake. They don't listen to feedback. They don't listen to market research. They just... I do agree with him on that part. But, again, this isn't something he believes in. This is just something that he's just saying. Just do what they want, and then they blame the consumer, but yet somehow they're still in power, and they're still millionaires, and they're still receiving kickbacks. How does that happen exactly? I agree with him 100%, but the thing is, he enables the practice by him constantly buying these games and trying to shell, shell, shield them to his audience. Right? Typically, if you own a business and it's doing poorly, you don't get money. 
but somehow these companies are rolling in profits either from their past successes or from microtransactions from shitty games. Ah! Ah! Now I get it. Now I th thoroughly understand why you fucking hate Don Matrick, Phil Spencer, Bobby Kotick. You hate these motherfuckers because in your mind, these motherfuckers fuck up, but they still get paid, they get money, but you fuck it up, and you ain't getting shit. Ah, oh, man. I just, why didn't I think of that shit? God damn. God, man, you're fucking jealous. God, I didn't think about that. I thought it was just like you just had a you just had a boner to pick. Like you just had a toxic hate boner that you usually have and you just had to get it out. You jealous cause these motherfuckers technically are fucking up and they still get money. Phil, stop pocket watching. Focus on your own shit. And focus on not fucking up. Ah man. That they Man, all this time. And I was thinking like, wow, why the fuck? Like, you know, I get it. You know, you want to have, you know, you have nothing to talk about. You got nothing to talk about. So you need to stand on your soapbox and scream some shit just to say that you're part of a conversation. To say that you're intelligent enough to be a part of this conversation. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's fucking jealousy. Because these people fucked up. And because they fucked up. They were supposed to be punished. They're supposed to be downtrodden. They're supposed to be uh, ostracized for the world like you. But they're not because they get paid, because they get money. Well, Phil, let me let me break you in on a little bit of something like that, okay? A lot of these people shake hands. And you, you don't. Boom, that's it. See, the thing is they do this within a network. It's a network. It's, it's a very small network and right before they leave there's one thing that executives do it's so the, the network is works so well these people have jobs lined up right before they right before they get canned from the one they're already at so i bet you the thing the move to zynga was already talked about when he was being when he was we were discussing letting him go or him stepping down or whatever the fuck you don't have that because again you don't work with people you don't know how to network with people. You don't know how to collaborate with people. So when you fuck up, you have nobody except your parents. Phil, Don, Bobby, these people have worked with multiple people within multiple industries. That's why they're not as downtrodden as you are. Remember, DSP, you're not like other people. And you need to start understanding that every time you start bitching about, you know, why people do shit or why, you know, people are successful, why people get this or why people get that. Come on, bro. Still fucking get away with it and they never have any repercussions for these choices. It's like, I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand it. And the industry will continue to be on this pace of errors, flops, unfinished releases, terrible games until we get new people in power these people who are in charge are either relics of the industry or just don't understand it that will never happen because all this most of the stuff that's happening is intentional phil like i don't mean to put on my tinfoil hat but like like this is intentional it's not like a lot of people think like why are governments doing this why are companies doing this because it's intentional these people do not have your best interests at heart so these new, the new people you're going to get, they're going to be just as bad as the old people. So get used to it. The only way for you to stop it is if you stop enabling the practice, meaning you, DSP, meaning you, Phil, meaning you stop trying to buy every single fucking game that comes out. You stop trying to buy the deluxe version of every single fucking game that comes out instead of you talking about every single fucking game, therefore pushing it's brand out there. You're the one that's fucking up the gaming industry.
because you're the one that's going out of your way to support these fucking corporations by buying each and every game that comes out. You're the one that are keeping these gaming studios and games relevant by sitting there and putting their names into the algorithm by talking about them fucking constantly. That's you. You're the one that's enabling this bullshit. Again, I don't like Boogie. I'm not talking about Boogie all the time. I don't like Tipster. I'm not talking about Tipster all the time. I don't like Review Tech USA. I'm not talking about Review Tech uh, USA all the time. I'm not saying I don't talk about them at all. I do not talk about them all the time because these are people who I don't like. These are people who are doing things that I don't agree with. So why the fuck do I give them energy? But you, you want to sit there and keep these people's brands alive. The spirit of their brands alive by continuously talking about them. It doesn't matter who's in power. As long as your dumb fuck ass continues to con fucking enable and fuel these practices, it's never going to change. So you can stand on your fucking soapbox because all you're doing is giving these people that power by standing on your soapbox and screaming out to the heavens about them, whether it be good or bad. Right? Like, Eve Game O, his time has been, was done 15 years ago. He should have been ousted a million years ago, right? Thank God we got rid of uh, Bobby Kodak over at Activision. I mean, that guy was out of touch for the longest time. So, thankfully, he's gone. But now he's like, oh, well, guess what? Now there really is no one in charge. It's a fucking Phil Spencer. It's like, oh, God. You know, the, the ultimate bro salesman who doesn't fucking understand the industry. I just, I don't know, man. This, this whole... DSP, did you not buy a fucking Xbox Series X? Shut the fuck up. I do not agree with Sony's practices. I do not agree with the type of games that Sony has been putting out lately. I have not bought a PlayStation for two generations. Prior to that, I did not have the PS2. Why? Because I wasn't a fan of PlayStation like that. I like Nintendo. I had the GameCube. I buy that shit. I, I buy what I like. I don't. I buy w what I like from who I like. But you're sitting there talking shit about Phil Spencer when you gave that motherfucker money. You gave that motherfucker money. Every time you bought an Activision game that came out, you were the one that was paying for the furnishings in that Cosby room that you talked about. So again, you want this shit to change? Shut the fuck up. EA shenanigan thing here with the Dead Space remake is like, so now you got all of our hopes up for a Dead Space franchise coming back. And because it didn't sell a billion copies, we're, that's it. Dead Space is dead forever now because of you. It's like you, because of you. Not because of the consumers, because of you. You know? Maybe if you actually did innovate the game, which they didn't. They did not innovate with the Dead Space remake. They added a few new things. Everything else is exactly the same as the first game. Maybe if you actually did really remake it rather than just kind of giving it a facelift, it sold more. Well, if your dumbass didn't go ahead and fucking play the, uh, pay for the fucking game, maybe these people would have been like, hey, you know what? Our audience doesn't like the game. Maybe we should make more games like this. That's it. But you didn't. You took the easy way out, and you expect that this is going to be like a zillion seller. Well, that's not how it works anymore in the industry. Yeah, DSP. How about you take your own fucking advice and stop thinking that every video that you're going to fucking upload is going to be like Homefront. You know. The industry has changed, dumbass. Anyway, I, I, I rest my case. I can't make these companies be intelligent, nor can I make their leadership do their jobs well. All but yet you still give them money. So ladies and gentlemen, just remember. So remember these, remember these rants when he's buying games and consoles from these people. All I can do is report. Mind you, don't forget. Don't forget, guys.
that provide for him having all this fucking energy towards these corporations. We just finished talking about, oh, tell me what game I should play for this marathon. So, you know, prior to him talking about how nothing's going to change, he wants people to tell him how to support these companies further. Dude, this is mental illness. What's up? Like, I get, like, I totally understand. It's sad, bro. You have nobody to talk to. You have nobody to talk to. It's okay. But the problem is, this makes you look absolutely fucking crazy because you're sitting there talking all this shit, but yet you've invested in every single product that you've shat on. That's nutty, bro. Nutty. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's get to shout outs and see where the, the day takes us here. Come on, I want to go glaze, man. So we start off with BB Phil doing a super chat. Yeah, I don't care, I don't care teabagging. about that. I don't care about that. Does it happen often? Has the toxicity risen? I would guess that anyone who teabags is just a troll. I would think that because I don't, I, I have not noticed in general when I was open playing Street Fighter Six last year against all comers in ranked matches, very rarely. Did I see anything like teabagging or something like that? Bro, you got teabagged by Ryu like two times, bro. Bro, yo, you got teabag No, you got teabagged by Ryu. You got teabagged by, um... You were teabagged by Jury. And I think you were teabagged by Kami. Because I remember I had clipped those uh, teabags. Yeah, every once in a blue moon. So I don't think that it's a common thing in the FGC. I think what it is is that I'm doing these casual matches. The trolls are purposefully trying to stream snipe me and get in there and trying to play against me, and then if they get one round on me, they teabag because they think it's... I don't understand how people get upset out of teabagging. Like, it's like, like, I don't get, like, dude, it's just a dude going up and down. No, but the thing is, the thing is, is that, is that it's to, it's to simulate him, you know, fucking dropping his balls in your mouth. And it's like, like, for real, like, you getting that mad because you, you, you really feel like the dude is really putting his balls in your face? Like, Really? Like, you feel the testicles? You feel the scrotum on your forehead? Like, that's how mad you're getting? All right, Brian Snowden. I'll I catch you later, baby. That never, I don't, I never understood teabag. I remember the first time I got, like, teabag pause, and I'm just watching the dude go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm like, okay. Like, and then somebody told me, like, yeah, you got teabagged. And I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> Funny or something. Yeah, it's the biggest loser mentality you can have. I don't think it's a rampant thing. In the in the uh, in the fighting game community, no. Uh, and BB Phil did a second super chat saying, <clears throat> "Are you using D pad or analog stick?" Uh, I, stick. His, you know, I, as I showed many times, I use a joystick because I grew up playing in arcade, so I have to play fighting games on a stick. If I try to play them on a pad, I would likely play worse. Actually, uh, this is the Conva Obsidian Two arcade joystick for PlayStation Four and Five and PC. And this is also the stick that I will use if I if I use do Fightcade. Uh, later this year. Please do fight, Kate. Please. I need it. I need it. I need it in my veins, bro. I need that fight, Kate, in my brains. I need that 100% uncut salt. I'll, I'll get this working with my PC. So there you go. <clears throat> okay. Cool. So I tried to put a filter on his Zion agent. I tried to. It just kept crashing on uh, me. Super chats. Did you run the leaderboard? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I see Amamoro. So, uh, I see Amamoro says, didn't this pick is safe for the FTC to keep his name out All of their right, mouth, but he keeps talking about here. them like so every other day. day now, or am I bugging? No, he's doing that. He's 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 talking shit about the All FTC, right, well, even though he's... five dollars and says, I've been watching detractor content for a couple of weeks, but I want to come by and just kind of hang out with you today and give you a fair shake. Well, welcome. You know, I did my venting this morning on the podcast, but the gameplay is coming. And you'll see it's Elden Ring today. And we'll see how it goes. You know, I don't, like I said, with my build, I don't know how it's going to go because I feel like that build is really strong in certain cases and weak in others. Uh, I I'm genuinely interested to hear what your opinion is after the day of content, right? You know, this is the, the podcast definitely is a little different, has a certain vibe. The gameplay is a little different. I, I use this podcast as a way. That's what I'm saying, Excalibur 2010. Like, I get, I get a little bit more upset. So Excalibur 2010 says, and why teabag when the fighting games have actual taunts in-game? I think 
that would be more offensive to me because that's like you just you because you know like a tea bag is you're going up and down up and down it's not disrespectful but you're going ahead and you think you got enough time to pull on pull out a full on animation on me nah bro we gotta we gotta we gotta swing bro we gotta swing I'm sitting there like get my ass beat next to you know come on like no fuck you like yeah no nah, fuck that shit topics give updates and get things off my chest before we get to the gameplay because I feel like if I if I just jumped right to gameplay that it would be distracting. People would want to ask me questions and talk about certain topics. And it would basically, I wouldn't be able to focus on the game. So Dark Super Sub, baby. Um, oh, no. Heaven forbid I have to interact with my audience. So. Heaven forbid. Like, imagine if I did that shit. Like, imagine we just, like, we just loaded up and I just bitched about Phil for like a good hour and some change. And then just, we had to just sit here and just watch this motherfucker talk for a good hour and some change. Fuck that. Uh, welcome. Thank you for the five dollar tip. I appreciate that. Okay. Um. Cool. As of right now, I don't have any other contributions to shout out, so I'll just keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, if anyone has any topics they would like to discuss today, thirty-three uh, minutes. Please tag me. Thirty-three uh, in the minutes. Chat. Thirty-three. Have... There's thirty-three minutes left on this video. You have nothing right now. You you're saying you have nothing right now. Nothing. Why can't you just fucking play the game? All right, what's up, baby? We almost we almost wrapping up because this is this is this is. Uh. We don't really have time to do suggestion box. It's too late at this point. So play the fucking game. Well, obviously they like my button up. This is yet another one of the new shirts that I bought a few weeks ago when I was out with my wife for the Woo! summertime. Nice, a nice short sleeve button up. And uh, going out tomorrow, I might I might look for a few more. I'm actually going to Woo! a different like a thrift store style place tomorrow. This place takes in shirts that either were not sold or they were sold but never worn. They still have the tags on them and everything. He's going to fucking either Ross, Marshalls, Coles, or TJ Maxx. Jesus fucking Christ. Everything. Or sometimes they do have some clothes that were like lightly worn and they clean them up and resell them. Uh, so I'm going to be going there tomorrow and see what I can find. And maybe I'll find a few more shirts and stuff for the summer. Maybe some shorts. We'll see. Um, He's going to Ross. Yeah, I yeah. really enjoyed By the way, I'm happy that I, I got these early because it has have, we've had some warm days. Like today, it's cooler outside, but the sun is out. So this office is heating up. So it's nice to be able to wear the short sleeve shirt, shorts and, uh, and cool down and be cool in the office here. So, good stuff. Thank you for the compliment. Uh, let's see. You want to discuss the Sweet Baby Ink thing? Here's the thing. I, I don't know much about it. From, from what I'm to understand, and this is just my very cursory knowledge of this, this topic, I guess there is some kind of a co consultation company called Sweet Baby Ink, and it's kind of like an ultra-progressive company. Like, you hire them to make sure that your game is... Why does he do this thing like, I don't know much about the company, but I'm going to go ahead and give you e the exact each and every detail that I found, that I've came across while I'm on the internet of this company. Is in line with, like, progressive themes or something like that, or not deemed offensive. I don't even really understand it. So then why are we talking about it? Okay, but I guess somehow it got exposed that this was happening, and then they came, they basically researched and found, like, every game that has Sweet Baby Inc. involved in it as, a, as part of this consultation has like really how can i say like liberal themes or leftist kind of stuff in it that a lot of people have issue with all right no it's not that people had issue with the liberal liberal progressive themes they had issues with the fact that they were intentionally trying to in forcefully inject those themes into the games when it wasn't necessary and doing it with a sense of hostility i'm not Take the politics shit out of it. I don't give a fuck who's left, right. I don't give a fuck. The problem was they were taking their ideologies, no matter what it, it could, left, right, doesn't matter. And they were forcing it into the game, intentionally forcing it into the game. And when people are telling them, we don't want that, when they, the consumers that were actually saying, we don't want that, they try to gaslight these people. That's it. Is that they were taking they were taking stuff that people weren't looking for. Like, let's take the politics out of it. Let's take the politics out of it. They were taking stuff that people weren't looking for and trying to force it into the games and then gaslighting people to think they were like bad people for not liking these things that they didn't want in the first place. That's it. And so I guess what they said is expose it. And now that it's been exposed, don't buy and support those games. And then the other problem is they go on ahead and they they go ahead and try to inject those ideologies into these games, into these fucking games, and they don't even do a good job at it. Like, I, I, I still argue to this fucking day. I will argue to this fucking day.
There is no fucking reason, and I, I don't care who, who you can laugh at me all you want. There's no reason for a multi-million dollar fucking development studio. There's no reason for a multi-million dollar development studio to get a flag wrong. There's no reason for a company to get a fucking flag wrong. You spent all that money getting those people into your game to make sure that everyone's represented. Everyone's included, what have you. And you couldn't even get the representation right. Exactly, Tractor Goose. Non-politics example, X-Men movie that made everyone wear black suits and then break the fourth wall and mock bright colored spandex. Exactly. Exactly. If you you don't believe in this ideology of, you know, existence, honestly. Um, it's a very political thing. It's a very, very political topic from what I'm to understand. So, that's all I really know about it. That's I know it. there's various people on the internet on either sides of the equation arguing at each other. Kotaku got involved at one point because they're a very leftist games journalist. He's following the Alyssa Mercante shit. Site. In fact, most of the time they don't even really replace news at all, or, or report news at all. They're just doing, like, hit pieces now and dumb shit. Uh... Exactly, DJ Stars. But that's it. I just, all I have is a very cursory knowledge of it. That's it. I can't confirm or deny. Dude, so shut the f any of these claims because I don't have any information about it. Like, so shut up. I don't know anything about it. That's it. I don't even know what games are involved. I don't know how they're involved. I, you know, you, you know me, my opinions on a game like The Last of Us Two, right? Where which other Star Trek TV series other than Next Generation? Yes, I also watched Deep Space Nine. Um. When it was on TV, and then I watched Voyager later on, on demand. I think all three of them are great shows, but Next Generation is always going to be my favorite. Do I think spiders are too scary to be in video games? No. It's the realm of fantasy. It's not real. Ansu Kamaro says, I'm 80 plus hours into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and in the final stretch. Although the game is amazing, I'm glad it's about to end. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's the Hispanic in me. But every time this dude always says Ansu Kamaru... I always hear the Caso Cerrado theme in my fucking head. Like, I don't know why. It's like every time he says this dude's name, it's like, Asuka Maru. Whoa. I don't know. Every time, I think I'm going to have to make like a video like that because every time he says Ansu Kamara, it just sounds like Caso Cerrado. I don't know why. Sorry. If you'll ever get back to it, it's just so long but fun. Please don't say it again because then I'm going to have to do that thing. Please don't say Ansu Kamara. Ansu Kamara. Really, Final Thank Fantasy VII is about eco-terrorists trying to save the world. It's impossible to escape politics and games. Final Fantasy VI is the Returners fighting against the evil empire who are treating everyone unfairly. It's basically revolt against the government, right? The difference is obvious fantasy plot and setting versus something where they're actually trying to represent real-life politics in the game. Do you understand the difference? Yes, but the thing is, you fucking dumbass, that these themes are actual real-world themes. So I'll give you a perfect example. Tales of Symphonia. Tales of Symphonia, it's basically, it highlights the evils of discrimination. How discrimination, it basically just poisons everything, not just you, but everything around you. That is a real world theme. Now, the thing is, I can apply that to, a re like, I don't see it like it's, a, I don't act like it's real, but I could take the themes and apply it to real world situations. Because I'm not going to sit here and say, okay, that discrimination you know the theme of discrimination is wrong because you know they're talking about you know half elves and fucking elves and humans and stuff but the thing is you can take those same themes and apply it to actual human races you dummy like i understand the whole eco terrorist thing in final fantasy 7 but it doesn't feel like you're working for greenpeace it doesn't feel like you're the you just My mans, 
You literally just applied the theme. You just did the, you literally just did the relating. Eco-terrorist, you already found, you already made the association. Eco-terrorist, Greenpeace. Bruh. No, this is, this is the, no, this shit gets me when he, when he catches himself in the same train of thought. I'm sorry. I don't know. Like, that's, that's mental illness to the, to the, to the max. The man just, nah, I don't get it. You can't apply that shit. You can't, you can't apply that to a real world situation. You know, yes, eco-terrorist, but it's not Greenpeace. You literally just took the theme and applied it to Greenpeace. So you're able to relate to the fucking theme. Holy shit, bro. Fucking Captain Planet team. Right? You just did it again. Right? It's not like they're trying to actually shove those things down. There's no real Mako in real life. No, but you take the actual fucking theme. Like, again, yo, like, he's so fucking... And it's crazy because I'm a literal person. I am an actual literal person. And I'm not as literal as this person. So it's like, it's a fantasy idea about it. Yes! Yes! So you can take the... They borrowed the fucking theme from an actual real-life situation. As opposed to, imagine if literally you're playing Final Fantasy VII and the entire game is about deforestation, drilling for oil, and the greenhouse effect. Would you be tired then? You probably would. You'd probably say the game sucks, right? Well, that's literally what they're doing with these other games. They're putting real-life political agenda shit in the games, and that's what's turning people off, you see? Because it's the real-life stuff shoved in your throat rather than... Yo, this guy is fucking retarded, bro. Yo, this dude is a... F like, yo, I'm sorry. Like, you slow... Fucking slow. You are absolutely, I don't know what, I can't even call it, bro. Your brain is straight up fucking applesauce, man. Wow. It's just wow, bro. So you actually, have, like, again, he's showing how stupid he is because you actually have to put this shit in front of him. I should change the stream title yet again. DSP Gaming shows his entire audience how stupid he is. He shows how stupid he is because he has to have everything put in front of him. A fictional setting to something that might have a tie to something real. <clears throat> mm. What announcement were revealed do I want to see during Summer Game Fest? For me, it's bot. Ugh, cut off. For me, it's Bioshock 4 and Kingdom Hearts 4. All right, I got to I gotta go pump some iron. I got to pump some iron. I got to stick to some glaze because that, 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 I'm, I think I just short-circuited a little bit because I cannot believe we just yet again experienced that live. I think the last time we experienced something like this was the Tangare shit. Because it's, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's, it's like, you're sitting there and you're on this tangent and you can't even stay on track and then you do a complete fucking U-turn. Like, I just... <laughs> All right, so I'll see you I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, it might not be a DSP stream. I was supposed to do this today, but yesterday I, I had to give myself a rest day. These 10-mile run, walks, saunters, jogs, whatever the fuck you want to call them... I gotta, I gotta get some more recovery time in. So tomorrow we'll just have like a regular stream where we just shoot the shit. We'll probably make fun of other people or whatever. But I, I, I can't. My brain hurts. DSP made my brain hurt. So I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Bye. Oh my god.